August 3rd, 2017 edition. As always, I'm your host, Northern Line. Join my team co-host, Rock League Smile. Hey, everybody. What's up? It sounds like you're about to fire us all. <laughs> it's like you just called yeah. us into your office and you're like, thanks for coming, everybody. Corporate just said we're fucked. Like, we didn't make our quota. Yeah, Sorry. it's like 100 degrees in here again, so I'm, I'm fucked myself. I just lifted the cat up for the camera to show everybody, and then he gave me the dirtiest look like I'm fired. So everybody's fired. <laughs> Cobalt isn't fired. He's here. I'm here. Yay. Robert is also have here. my cat. Yeah. Am I fired? Um, I think you just got rehired. Okay. Yeah. You I know what? You... That's the same kind of thing, right? I so want you to know I was laughing really hard in the long dark when you met that lady in the room and she was actually a Dark Souls NPC. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was like a she blind lady a with a shotgun man. who was good. Mm, mainlander. <laughs> You do not know oh, the customs no, of our land. <laughs> Chosen undead, bring me firewood. Anyway, yeah. we're going to play Isaac, and then we're going to play uh, golf of some variety, and then we're going to play, uh, in our final section, a little bit of Pinterio. Why don't we get started? This is the first time in, like, four years Isaac isn't in my last five most recent played games on Steam. Oh, I have to go to bizarre. my Steam library and click play. I don't think I can say the same. Oh, have you been defaulting back to the Isaac a little bit lately? I mean, I'm at 217 on my streak right now. <laughs> I PB'd. That's pretty good. <laughs> Every run's a PB now. But <laughs> what does that mean? Oh, I see, I see. Personal yeah, best. Yeah. Peanut, sure peanut butter. Peanut I was butter. like, peanut butter. I, butter, this yeah. guy's got 217 <laughs> like fastest clears in a row. That's incredible. <laughs> No, he's got 217 peanut butter sandwiches in storage for lunch. So oh. that he's ready for the whole year. Oh, you, know? you got to melt them in your armpits. It's a PB pace, as we call yeah. it. The the peanut butter and salsa sandwich. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've actually been playing less because my hand feels like death. I had a, a cyst burst. Ooh. In my oh, hand. Jesus. Well, at least there was a bump there, and now there's not, and my hand hurts, so I'm mm. guessing that's yeah, what it that is. Sounds, that yeah. sounds like <laughs> some kind of cyst, perhaps, yes. <laughs> and so, yeah, I've been I've been playing mostly clicker stuff the past couple of days, but I took yesterday off, so I should be fine. That sounds like the opposite of what you should be doing, though. Like, isn't well, clicker stuff, like, going? clicker stuff is, like, even It's way more... better than controllers, dude. Oh, uh, okay. Anything with a controller is just... Ouch. Dude, I like clicker games. Kate gets, uh, occasionally she gets like these ganglion cysts on her wrist. Yeah. I was, I was like, you should really go to the doctor. And she's like, no, nah, my sister it goes to the doctor. Or my sister, sister is a doctor, I should say. Uh, her, yes, her sister. 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 <laughs> hey, Judas Run, here we go. I'm just going to start right. um, so you keep talking. Right. Sure, yeah. But well, her, can we not do Judas, though? Oh, you, you don't want to die immediately? Yeah, I'm, I'm good You're with scared? not dying immediately. All right, Eden run. Let's go. Here we go. But her sister told her, <laughs> just get a big, like, textbook and smash it. A Bible. And yeah. And thump it. Bible thump. <laughs> H-A-9-L. 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 500. K-Y-4-M. K-Y... Jelly four inch or M M is in mother. Let me let me get one more. Let me get one more. Ky four M. Haggle Kim. Some Ky for your for your mother. Oh come on! I don't even have Eden on this file. Locked? What? Hey y'all, old baby. What is the? Did you guys start with a sweet mustache that makes you look like? Okay. Yeah. What's that about? Uh, they added, I love that. They added new uh, helmets or whatever. I or thought it was a, yeah. I thought it was a bandage at first, and I realized it's like a platinum blonde mustache. Yeah. They actually <laughs> added like 40 styles or some shit. That's awesome. You know what yeah. would really bring me back is if they added Harry Styles, former yeah. One Direction every member. Every day. <laughs> they should bring Harry Styles back. By the way, I'm like kind of cheating on this run because I'm playing co-op with Dude, Jeff. that's not cheating. That's like... If you have my best heart, right? actually getting in yourself. Yeah, I think yeah. it makes it a little harder, maybe. Well, I have full faith, honestly. I thought you were going to say that's... I have full face. <laughs> yeah. Have, I've got a face full of cum right now. I don't <laughs> really like relying on other people not to get hit when I play <laughs> Isaac. We call that full face in the industry. Full yeah, face. Yeah, that's a, that's a facial right there. We did not lose our streak, guys. Calm your tits. We're just doing a, ra a random 
Isaac run because we don't have Eden unlocked on any file but our street file. <laughs> if you start a Judas run in co-op, do you get a half a heart each? I, uh, I, you I, can't pull a character out without two hearts. Is that the case? So you I'm just can't sure. play co-op as Judas? That's, that's partly no. why I, I said. I'd rather I didn't not even play. think about it honestly. Yeah. I didn't really, you know, didn't cross my mind. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You guys played the anti-birth co-op though, dude. I know you did with Kate, right? Yeah, we we probably played like at least forty hours of anti-birth co-op. Like that is actually Ooh. really good. It Even is pleasant. really good. It's way different than it, it works like you would think co-op would work rather yeah. than having a baby yeah. steal your life. Dude, is there <laughs> well, a slang? That's what babies do. Anyway, go on. Yes, <laughs> they're yeah, parasites. No. <laughs> yeah. oh. On a spiritual and financial level. Mm -hmm. physically also physically well, steal yeah. your energy. Dude, I think about this still almost every day, like how We're metal how metal oh. the human race is. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean. Yeah, you should think about that every day as well, yeah. I, I feel like when I was a kid it was different because we weren't quite at this level of like possible cyber dystopia. When I was a kid it was like, yeah, babies drink boob milk, no big deal. Yeah. Now I'm like that feels like an artifice of an analog age. It's like your yeah. baby gets born, there's no, like, baby soylent. You just let it bite your nipple and suck the juice out of your chest. That's, well, I mean, that's what other animals, animals do. That's what other, like, cows Yeah, but and... that's crazy! Yeah! It's a defining trait of being a mammal. Even that's dolphins most, have milk. That's the best way to naturally give them nutrients. Like, you can't just give them cow milk when they oh, come I, out. Oh, I'm with you. Work. But it's like the mother is a nutrient paste dispenser but, for her yeah. own child. It's so White goes in, white comes out. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> she, yeah. Dude, that's the least weird. Like, that's not even on the realm of weird for pregnancy, okay? Uh, <laughs> yeah. I can imagine. Crazy stuff. What's we won't even go into it. <laughs> why do why do so many ladies like pickles when they're pregnant? What's that about? Pickles Lisa and ice cream. doesn't. Lisa likes pickles when she's not pregnant, and then uh, now all she doesn't like them. Uh, when she's it's pregnant. an it's a toggle switch. Pregnancy <laughs> right, yeah. Pickle right, preference yeah. the other way. When you get pregnant, it basically just multiplies you by negative one. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's, that seems about right. So that's she's nice. not Lisa anymore. She's Asel. Oh, it's, it's... Asel. <laughs> We're fighting her in the Middle East. That's not good. <laughs> All right, maybe. <laughs> I'm not sure I'm <laughs> okay with that comparison, but yeah, okay. Uh, my apologies. Oh, so no. You didn't deserve that joke. That was not right. <laughs> and I mean, let's be honest. Right now. We're not fighting anybody. Yeah. We're... <laughs> yeah, right. yeah. That's good. Yeah. We're trying to stave We're, off a little summer vacation boredom yeah. for, for the masses of Twitch.tv. I guess so. I like that, though. <laughs> uh, is there a slang for cunnilingus? Like, uh, like hold, hold me out here. Yeah. Cunnily. Munchin I don't like, okay. Munch, rug munchin. Any, any rug variety munching, yeah. of munchin, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, Baron von Munchausen. Yeah, yeah, no, he, uh, he likes going down. Pussy. I don't know. Going I mean, down, okay. Yeah, going down. We're just yeah, looking for I'm... other words. Uh, is uh, is... jam in the clam? Well, well, no, that's more masturbating. Yeah. yeah is giving lady. face a cunnilingus oh, brain? Oh, uh, no, no brain, brain is... is brain is a blowjob. Yeah. Sweeping no, the those feet. Things, I think they carry over in both directions now. No, so okay, so the thing is. Oh, Rod's I'll, got facts. I'll, <laughs> I'll break it down me. the etymology of this slang. Give me an etymame. Right? Yeah, give when me. You're, I'll have the etymame, please. The <laughs> brain is like you know, it's implying that you're fucking her so deep in the throat you're hitting her brain. <laughs> oh. Are you sure about that? Well, no, no, no. I mean, pretty much. Yeah. Have you ever popped make a champagne one? on a plane? While getting yeah. some brain, and with that ass, she said, I ain't ever seen snakes on a plane. How is Kanye West throat fucking somebody on an airplane? The logistics of <laughs> it are mind boggling. Yeah, How I mean, much like, space is he? Turbulence. Yeah, she's a turbulence. Is, yeah, exactly. Yeah. And not only that, but is he flying like Emirates or something? Dude, that dick's a bullet. How does he. <laughs> there's no Watch space out. for this. How many for G's is that dick place? going at? Mm hmm. I, uh, I shot a gun in uh, in Florida when we went to Florida recently. What kind of when gun you did you say you I shot a gun, you mean you shot a gun? Uh, no, I didn't shoot the... at a gun, no, no. Yeah. I, I didn't use a gun to shoot another gun. No, I meant did you ejaculate, because that's oh, what we were yeah. just talking about. Yes. <laughs> that's a love gun. So, yeah, yeah, several times, yes. Okay, so you didn't shoot a gun. in a jet? 
Um, like, if you're going top speed, you're having to wear one of those suits that yeah. keeps your body from getting G4s. <laughs> and more importantly, if you could get an erection, could you then come? Mm. Oh, yeah, what if you came, but it At just, like, went G's. deeper inside oh, of you? Oh, ejaculation via centrifugal force. Yeah. Right, right, Something right. Something like right. that, yeah. So you go on that UFO ride at the carnival hard enough that you just soil yourself. I mean, you've or heard of the human centipede. This is the human centrifuge. <laughs> exactly. If you, oh. Wait, if you sat in a centrifuge, would it, like, mix up all your cum together so that it just <laughs> gets bashed around? Well, and I think like, if creates, you were going... It'd be all were stupid at the end. fast <laughs> enough in a centrifuge, it would just separate you into, like, you know, layers of man soil. Yeah, that's true. Well, I mean, I already separate myself in layers of man soil every night, so, you know. Like How so, though? Green? Well, only two. <laughs> what what does that mean? <laughs> Top and bottom? Well, the, the flesh Oop, part and then the semen part is really what I'm getting at here. Semen gets ah. its own part? I'd, I'd say you're, so, yeah. You're basically equating semen to, like, oh your humanity I'm, entirely. Like, it's a layer. Human existence. I'm expelling carbon into, into the, you know into the universe. That's true. Uh, tell us about your gun. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, what gun uh, did you fire? I fired an M14 rifle. Uh, oh, an M14, uh, oh, was it an M14A. A6? A6? Yeah. Did you have it on burst um, or single shot? Did Where did you five, drop five, in? Six? How many scopies did you have? <laughs> Dude, you, M1, uh, I forgot the name of the gun already. It doesn't matter, because <laughs> it can only have two attachments, which makes nope. it a low tier gun in today's Low modern team. PUBG world. Isn't the M4 the one with four attachments? Well, the M4 no. is. And the M1 yeah. is the one with two attachments. Rob, tell us about your gun. Yeah, so you shot this gun. <laughs> was, tell me more. I shot a gun at the target, yeah, yeah. I saw your hit markers. Bullets. Yeah, no, we were, we, me and, me and my cousin, well, so we went with family, Ooh. and they, uh, they, they wanted to shoot, but then they did not enjoy it, it turns out. So, oh, no. Yeah, so, like, we were going to shoot a lot more, <laughs> and then we didn't want to be, like, dick bags and, like, have them wait for us to shoot more guns. So mm, okay. we only fired 20 rounds. But uh, we hit the target 12 out, of, 12 out of 20 of those rounds. pretty good. So. Yeah. Better it's than like Dan no in rounds. rounds. <clears throat> Is that yeah. one magazine? It, it's, I think it's, like, roughly one of the clips. You could, you could get that. Hit. Sorry, magazine, you meant? <laughs> yeah, it's a magazine, You're actually. Right, yeah. But, Did you uh, fire at full auto, by the way? So like, no, because that it, would be incredible. Three none, round bursts. None of the guns in that place were uh, were full, full auto. They were Thank all God. semi-automatic. Otherwise, yeah. that'd be like dangerous. Oh, Very dangerous. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, the 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 law the the rule was that like if you were ten years or older, you were allowed to fire the guns. So. Oh wow! <laughs> wow, ten <laughs> That's years. Like kids That's in the Ozark. <laughs> I know they That's should be so stupid earlier. It doesn't take 10 years to learn how to fire a gun. Yeah, just fucking move your finger. It's just basic motor. <laughs> yeah, it takes you 10 years not to learn to aim it at other things That's while you're true. doing it. I mean, if you start firing a gun when you're below the age of 10, <clears throat> there is yeah. a chance that you would use that for some kind of petty cause. You, mm. Oh, he stole my Lego. I'm just going to shoot him, right? Yeah, yeah. No, that's fair. Yeah, yeah he what, makes it the wrong kind of cartoons <laughs> or something with that. Yeah. Watch out. <laughs> So there's a lot of discussion in this country over, um, you know, at what point human life starts. Mm, um, right, yeah. All right, we're going God. down that road Has today, anyone huh? ever considered that maybe the answer isn't, you know, in the fetus years? Maybe it's actually, like, you know, six years old? Mm, okay. I'm yeah. not I'm not saying that it when should be start... legal to abort six-year-olds. <laughs> but I'm just saying, right. when you look at a person's ID and they're, like, 18... They're not really eight. They've only lived for like 13 years. Well, yeah. and by various definitions that you might consider, they haven't lived at all. Well, I would right? until you pay your first year of income tax. You're still, as far as right. I'm concerned, oh, yeah. not you a, don't count as a citizen. Then. Not you a full just citizen. Be a, yeah, you should. Yeah, really but that's a society like a, thing, and not. <laughs> no, just you don't alive. deserve life. You should be definitely I, skinned I alive. I didn't say that, but. Oh, <laughs> sorry. What did you say? <laughs> I'm I think just you saying. Probably be a slave to the state, right? Like forced yeah. to work in the factories, you know, and make uh, the clothing and the technology for the. the and then we're not going to be losing jobs, right? Because then, you know, we don't have to outsource. We just make the children do it. That right, is important yeah. that we not lose the jobs. Mm hmm. So, yeah. yeah. State mandated slavery, definitely a good call. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying. Let's go! State mandated, <laughs> but maybe state permitted? 
<laughs> right. Well, yeah, no. permission is sort of endorsement, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Yeah, and it's it, implicitly, I'd say. Which yeah. turns into a mandate. But just uh, news for you guys. If you subscribe via Twitch Prime, Twitch has worked <laughs> out a deal with the American government that you're yeah. exempt from the mandatory military service that you'll mm-hmm. have to do in, in my version of America. So Right. Plus... You get a golden loot box in Overwatch right now. So. <laughs> $25 value if you can figure out how to extract the value from it. If that didn't well, sell you before. <laughs> Probably several millions of dollars of value since you'll have your freedom as well. Man, yeah. my friend my uh, friend was telling me, he just watches Twitch, that he was watching another streamer. And basically the guy was just like, everybody just click your Twitch Prime sub button right now. I want to see how many we can get in five minutes. <laughs> oh my I was like, my God. Yeah. Serious? <laughs> That's super weird work? that you would run into somebody you in the got, wild like, who watches me <laughs> in five minutes. I just, yeah. yeah, it just, I mean, uh, not something I would personally do or say, uh, but, uh, you know, each dude, first off, I'm just doing it selflessly. I don't want these people no, to miss just out. Funny. <laughs> I don't want these serious. people to miss out on the golden. Loot crate, dude. It's. I mean, if it was <laughs> platinum, even it you know, could have yeah, any it. legendary in the game in it. Maybe I can't remember. <laughs> Mine had a golden Torbjorn skin. Heroes I guess. never die, dude. Absolutely true. As long as you use your Twitch Prime token. I'm not even saying use it on me, but just get that golden loot crate. And then exactly. there's one other thing. You can get like, uh, there's a point and click, adv- name point and click adventure games. Day of the Tentacle Remastered you can get for free right now. Oh. I think yeah, that was on sale for launcher, $4 on Steam the other day. Well, dude. Have Twitch you guys Prime. played Kingsway uh, at all? I, I, thank you for the you beautiful sway? unplanned segue, Cobalt. Because <laughs> ye- yesterday I got a package in the mail from Adult Swim that cost me $15. Oh no! <laughs> and inside it was a code for Kingsway and a oh, foam so you bought it for 15 bucks. and a foam was, sword that the foam uh, sword was awful. That was curved and bent like a broken penis. My dog ate mine the second day. <laughs> he ate the he chewed, it, he, he chewed it up, and we were like, "No, dog! Look, now we don't have to keep it." So good. I love Adult Swim enough. games, and I think that they have some great ideas. I don't think the foam sword was one of them. You know, I really like the plushie they sent me for the Slug Cat yeah. game. Mm, that was Rainbow. pretty cool. Yeah, no issues there. I think we should be consultants for them, and we can tell them how not to spend their money. Mm-hmm. No for, no more foam swords. Those the thing is, out. they sent it in the biggest box, yes. didn't they? It yeah, was, it was like huge. A massive box for this little foam sword that, that was already bent. You know, uh, like they were made in Canada, though, so I do appreciate that. Oh, honestly, wait, they oh. were made in Canada, shipped to the United States. And then you paid for it to import back over. Yeah, no, it's a pretty confusing situation. Like, I, I think that economically, on like an international level, this single foam sword transaction might have cost the taxpayer like $100. <laughs> <laughs> for a thing you didn't really want anyway. Correct, yeah. I mean, I'm, it, it's a pretty minor problem. Like, I'm not going to be like, oh, they sent me free stuff I didn't want. But like, at the <laughs> same time, it's, it is like a little... I'm just thinking about all those other parts to the transaction. There's too much shipping. Like, dude, somebody built this, well, pressed the button to make this in a factory, and then they yeah. packed it in a box, put it on a truck, the truck drove to an airplane or a boat, the boat sailed to the United States of America, dropped it off. Somebody at the processing depot looked at it and said, okay, put it over here, this one's going to Atlanta now. Then they all so got the paperwork. Sh- shipped to Atlanta, and then in Atlanta they said, okay, we're gonna paste these P.O. box things on it right now, and then somebody put it on another truck, put it on another plane, flew it back to Canada, and then they were like, you have to pay $15 for this. <laughs> you know, 15 bucks, you probably take a bus out there. To wherever their headquarters are. Yeah, but I might get my head chopped off. Well, that's a good point, yeah. <laughs> yeah, they they emailed me a key and sent me that box, mm. so they Same. double dipped me. It's still which, not as um, bad. That's a good kind of double dip. Yeah, that that one's okay. <laughs> but like the the yeah. worst was Prey, where Bethesda's like, we don't send advanced review codes anymore. And instead we'll send you this like moldy ass banana and like a <laughs> pound of coffee and a mug, but no code. He's not joking about the banana. It was an actual physical fruit. It was a bowl. And it was, I mean, oh. it, it got shipped overseas, so it was like, it. the banana oh. stood no chance. 
Yeah. Tell me how the customs works for that, by the way. That's actually That's the one thing down. you could get in huge trouble for I, I think, if you tried to bring over the border. I think Bethesda might have accidentally smuggled. I'm not sure. <laughs> That's what I mean! <laughs> I died. I yeah, freaking died. This runs a little, uh, a little I've trash. Been, I've been dead for a while, honestly. Well, no. you're playing co-op. Dude, like, the only thing that I... If, whenever I have, you know, a, 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 you know, like, check out my game interaction from a developer, it's just like... Don't ever make me send an email back. Just send a code in the email. Yeah, you know I mean? but it's not that hard to email back. No, but, but I, it's, I agree. It's, 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 but it's like it adds friction I, to the. Uh, I don't I know, even know I how know. they got my address. Is the odd part. Like, yeah, like, that's how did you find me like they this? They asked for them a while. Ago. Yeah, probably. everybody um, sent them in. Not for me though. <laughs> oh, that's I don't know. I specifically remember sending them my info at one point, so I, you know, I get it. I definitely did not. I, I wouldn't know. even. I would be actually zero percent. I'm. I'm already like one percent mad. I was madder yesterday about the grocery store conversation, but like, I would be zero percent mad if it just didn't cost me fifteen dollars. If they just sent me something and I was like, I don't really want this, but it's a nice gesture. That's fine. But if they send something and it's like it costs me money to open it up, and I'm like, oh, it's a foam sword. I, I'm not <laughs> mad either. I just. <laughs> I want them to get the most value for their money so they have the most chance to last as long as possible. Mm, yeah. That's well, the I game mean. was pretty fun anyway for I have, like right, about yeah. six hours. It's pretty pretty entertaining. I beat it twice in six hours, but there's different really? classes you Jeez. can play. You gotta save up a little extra, you know? <laughs> the second one's gonna be dry. <laughs> Dusty. <laughs> 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 How did they die with this run? They're playing Eden, and I don't have Eden, so oh, I play Isaac. Oh, the truth comes out. <laughs> I have a lot of good stuff. Yeah. I mean, I could have done... I can't do a seated Eden run on my streak file. It's just it's crazy. So, like, this is pulling the veil back a little bit. But in all seriousness, I saw someone in chat be like, I got Twitch Prime, how do I get the loot box? There's like a little crown icon on the top bar that's purple. You click on that and it'll tell you everything you need to know. Yep, and if you have better Twitch TV and there's a crown over your sub button, it means your Twitch Prime sub is ready to go. I True. did not know that. I didn't know that. They added that in, yeah, as a thing. A good idea. I made my family in Florida sign up for Twitch so that they could give me free money with their Twitch yeah. Prime accounts. <laughs> I tell people to steal their parents' Amazon Prime account. All right, well, I don't know. <laughs> that might be pushing the you boundaries. You know what, guys? If you can't get Amazon Prime for free, oh just God. rob I'm a liquor store. I'm like, if, like thir bucks. if you're like 13, be like, hey, mom and dad, I would really like to log into Amazon Prime and watch all of these awesome free videos. Mm -hmm. And Dad, then once you're, once you're in, boys, once you're in, you just click the connect button. And, if and you're not done. willing to sell plasma or suck cock so you can give me money, I don't want you in my audience anymore, basically. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Man, you can sell your Wait. plasma in America? Lucky. And to tell you the truth, if you don't know my brand of keyboard, you're not a real fan. Oh, so. I forgot about that one. Oh, man. Just don't go propositioning anybody on the street for their Amazon Prime account. Yeah. Don't, you know, don't yeah, stay on the corner. No, just That's suck them off and then get your own. There you go. It's just capitalism. At least it's an exchange, then. Mm -hmm. an, an exchange of services. No, I'm not advocating anyone suck anybody's dick. Please don't. <laughs> but if you well, do. But I mean, if you did, you know. <laughs> why, I, why I don't not? know. There's probably some line where you just shouldn't say some things. Even <sighs> as a joke. Maybe uh, as a joke. On it's yesterday's not. episode, in that pool. I said that I hated Kat Dennings more than Kim Jong-un. Yeah, I do remember that. What was up with that? I, I got exactly one person who was like, uh, you know Kim Jong-un's a dick, right? <laughs> Sometimes that L just feels feisty. Yeah. Uh, you know what? I kind of agree with you, though. I, I did follow it up by saying she's clearly not as bad of a person as Kim Jong-un. I just, at the time, I didn't like her at all. Has she... Like done anything? She was recently? in Thor to the Dark World. Oh, uh, was she? And she, she oh, called... is she the is she the hex lady or whatever? No, 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 no. This is uh, this this is the last Thor movie from like 2013. Oh, so she calls Mjolnir Mew Mew, and it's like she doesn't oh, know. It's, she's like a God. she's one of the top scientists in her field, but she talks like a fucking idiot, you know? <laughs> God damn. 
more. Anyway, you know, it's no big deal. I don't get Mew Mew, why that? Because she, she's a, her character she's is an idiot. Is that she, like? <laughs> I'm not saying Cat Dannings is an idiot. You know, I think she's been in some lowbrow stuff, but I don't think she's an idiot necessarily. Oh, yo! Speaking of Marvel movies, though, I saw yeah. fucking we, me, me and just went to go see uh, Spider-Man. Spider -Man, yeah, I haven't seen it yet. Ah. It is so good. It's like I really liked it. I, 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 you know, keep in mind, grain of salt. I'm yeah. biased. Love Spider-Man, second favorite superhero. Takes but, place in New York. Yeah, exactly. So, but, uh, but. It might be my favorite Marvel movie now, actually. Dude, Michael Don't get Keaton. my hopes up. Yeah, Michael Keaton was great in that. Michael Keaton, though. And Tom From Holland was good. Tom Batman Holland! Villain. <laughs> he did a great I job. I it. I never thought Is Batman a villain. Can I, can I uh, raise one more potential good part okay. of the movie? Go Zendaya, though! Zendaya! <laughs> yeah, I was... play Zenyatta sometimes. Yeah, all right. Zenyatta! <laughs> Zenyatta, though. Who else? Martin Starr is in that movie. Martin mm -hmm. Starr, ladies and gentlemen. Someone get the IMDb open. We could do this like the the Logan no. Marshall no. Green. Anyone know who these people are? The I guy don't... from Prometheus <laughs> I, who I gets really sad that he made the biggest discovery in human oh. history is in that movie. Michael Fassbender is he, not in it, but not he, a, he would be great though. He would have been great, yeah. He would have been Donald great. Glover, ladies Donald and Glover gentlemen. Donald Glover is in it. John Did you accidentally pick a person that is in it? John <laughs> Favreau. John Favreau. <laughs> hey, Robert Downey Jr. Ragnarok is in November. Uh, anyway, that's the end of that. Yeah. It's a star studded cast. Is is I I very very much enjoyed that. Dude, I liked a lot. it. I was yeah. into it. Thought it was very good. Oh, and by the way, I wanted to mention to yeah. you because you said that the thing at the end of the movie, yeah. you know, the the Marvel thing at the end didn't really show anything, and it was just a little joke. Did I say that? No, no. Yeah, no, yeah, you did say that. I said that. that? Very high pitched. Yeah, <laughs> it I wasn't at all. I, I said that. Yeah, I I, I won't no. spoil it for people, I don't but even like. Remember. It sets up. Uh, it sets up a potential future Spider-Man villain, uh, and also oh. implies. It also yeah, no, implies, I know. Okay, yeah, I know yeah, what you're talking yeah. about now. Because I went to the subreddit after, and they were like, "I can't wait to see that guy in the next movie." And I was like, "Who? Mm -hmm. The two-bit actor that does nothing in this one?" And then they're like, <laughs> "Actually, he's a." Anyway, <laughs> I see. I see. Dude, yeah, I hope I... they do Venom correctly this time. Uh, and I well... want to see a Carnage too. Carnage would be really interesting on film. I would be really interested to see how they handle that. He would isn't murder Carnage, everybody. Isn't he just Red Venom? What's the difference? I also thought Carnage was he's Red Venom. He's a serial Venom. killer. He's a yeah. He's, he's actually like, he was. But he was a murderer. What is Venom then? He, Venom is just like a guy that Peter Parker went to high school with, isn't he? And the Venom yeah. is an alien suit from a different world. It's like something? a symbiotic, <laughs> some kind of parasite, like made out of black ooze, as far as he I know. He got knew. bit by well, a radioactive yeah. snake, and then he became. I uh, think it's a different type of alien um, than the red ones, or than the black one. I think they're both the same alien type. It's just that they're different symbiotes. Like, uh, like black uh -oh. suit Spider Man is the same symbiote as Venom. Mm. Uh, yeah, but they're the, still in the same color scheme there. I don't, I, I don't know. Yeah. I gotta look it up. I don't know. Yeah, I, the color is very important. I don't know beyond that. I want to raise but, something ab about Thor: The Dark World that I didn't talk about yesterday. Okay. I think it might have the worst after credit scene in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. And I'll briefly, because the movie came out four years ago. If you're worried about Thor: The Dark World spoilers, just don't <laughs> yeah, right. watch it. Okay. They That's take, the one with the weird. Uh, like elf people or whatever. Yeah, yeah. It's got uh, Malekith. It's like the bad guy. Yeah. He's a weird, dark elf. So he, they get they. I forget what it's called. The Aether or something like that. They capture the Aether, and it turns out because this is a cinematic universe, the Aether is like one of the Infinity Stones. So they take the Aether in the after credit scene. They take in it to the collector form. from Guardians of the Galaxy, Benicio del Toro, and they go, "Hey, here's the Infinity Stone, dude. You like don't do anything weird with it." And Benicio del Toro is like, "I'm Benicio Pushing del Toro. Ass. All I do yep. is weird shit all day, every day." Yeah. Bef they walk away before he even gets like out of earshot. Benicio del Toro goes, "One down, five to go." Yeah. Benicio, <laughs> they can hear you. That's like they, they, you're all speaking the same language. Why doesn't he? Just like I'm surprised the Thor as Guardians didn't come back and just be like, "Pardon me, like, I mean, one down, five to go." Like I get that you're setting up. 
This is back in 2013 when, you know, normie scum like myself didn't know what the Infinity Stones were, but still, it's like a little bit... It's bad cybersecurity, dude. Are you sure it's Benicio, by the way? What is it? Ben Benicio? I, th I think it's just Benicio. Bunny Chow. I thought I was saying the same I, thing. I think, he, I think you're right. I think it's Bunny Chan. Is what it is. <laughs> Doesn't, sure. uh, what's his name? Thanos just want the stones so that he can impress Death, which is one of the four cosmic really beings that created the universe. Impregnate, impregnate Death. Impregnate. Yeah, yeah that's, that's it's No, not like, impregnate. Yeah. He's trying to impress Death. Yeah, yeah before... that's, that's the way I understand it. But you know, he wants to destroy the universe. Story, yeah. He's going to be a resident expert on the show pretty soon, so. <laughs> oh, My, health turning yeah, us? Michael L. Fox has been watching all these comics explained videos, so he can explain yeah. it to us. Oh. I'd really like it to see him explain the uh, picture that I saw of Thanos riding a gyrocopter and saying, I'll get you next time that I saw. <laughs> 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 I want them to do Dark Side in uh, the DC universe, but then we have to deal with Superman and Batman again, probably. Well, they already did Doomsday, and you know how well that turned out. I forgot. Yeah, because they put Lex Luthor. Like seriously, come on. They put Lex yeah. Luthor's DNA inside of Doomsday. Yeah. What the hell is that about? That was a stupid. Movie Why is Lex Luthor an important person at all to anyone? He's like I, really. He's smart. my least favorite villain. Well, but like. So there's two Lex Luthors is the thing. There's one, the original Lex Luthor is a mad scientist, and then the other one is like this like mad he's just a rich bald man. guy. Yeah, right. Well, I don't see actually, why his hair is important, this. but uh, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but, I guess that's true. But so like like the Batman vs Superman tried to do like the mix of both, where he's like the cunning businessman who's also a mad scientist kind of thing and it was just kind of bad they I'm... turned him into like a really bad version of heath ledger's joker in that movie yes i yeah, felt definitely yeah he's well, supposed to be really buff and also i want him to wear a super suit from like a kryptonite super oh, or like krypton the, super suit like the purple and green one with the popped collar yeah <laughs> yeah dude hear me out here you know who else is bald and super rich and pays our salaries? Jeff Bezos. The Monopoly guy? Jeff Probst. He is fucking Jack. Dude, dude! Jeff Bezos for Lex Luthor in the Justice League movie, please. Hell yes. Anybody that looks like Mr. Clean can do the job, pretty much. Mm -hmm. He's saying he'd be able to better identify with the character if he's actually really rich. Yeah! Plus, he Why could fund the movie. Why don't we Mr. Clean do it? We could CGI him in? I think, I think, Kevin I think we have to wasn't CGI. bad. Kevin Spacey was a pretty I, good so, Kevin I, Spacey? Oh, my God. I have a few <laughs> movie preferences that are almost indefensible, okay? okay? And this is one of them. I think that Superman Returns is not that bad. Oh, my God. I think it's like a six and a half <laughs> out of ten. I think that's fair, yeah. But I like, mean, I'd give it a five. That movie is literally Superman lifts heavy things. Yes, That's what I, that movie I is. agree. There's some really weird stuff. Like he <laughs> he uses X-ray vision to like spy on his kids, and like mm -hmm. I'm like that's Superman. That's a little weird. But it's also you got to view it from the lens of 2006, whereas like mm -hmm. superhero movies were mostly like pretty bad. They didn't have ways to track your kids on their cell phone yet. Yeah, yeah. So, like, yeah. X-ray vision was right. the only option. <laughs> they didn't have the default settings in Snapchat, so... Yeah, and he also didn't have Lucius Fox to be like, Am I gonna input my name into your eyeballs afterwards? Yeah. <laughs> so, if Superman Returns is when he's, like, coming back from, like, the future, then what it time setting is the other one taken in? <laughs> oh, because I he has kids in that one, and in Batman vs. Superman... It's just Lois Lane that right, he's living yeah. with, no kids. So, like Lois Lame. <laughs> Superman and Returns. Batman is old as shit already. <laughs> right. Oh. Superman Returns actually technically takes place within the universe of Superman 1, 2, and 3. Yeah, it's like a, a so sequel to the Richard Donner ones. But didn't yeah. they use the same Superman? No, Christopher Actor? Reeves got in a horrible <laughs> accident yeah. and was not <laughs> okay. unable to reprise his role. <laughs> Yeah, he fell off a horse, I know. He still yeah. have elastic S powers in the middle of his chest that he can pull off and trap people. In that universe? Yes, he does. So why doesn't he ever use it? It seems like uh, the ultimate tool for every yeah. problem. Good question. Good question. He used it once and only once and never again. 
If you don't know what I'm talking about, he takes the S off his chest and it turns into a black hole to another dimension and he traps the bad guys in it. Oh, you're talking that's that's the original influence for the Minus Realm. Yeah. The bizarre, he, yeah. bizarre world or is that different? When he traps no. uh, General Zod in the in the negative realm or whatever it's called. Oh, I remember. Okay. Throws yeah. the S off his chest. Why doesn't uh, that happen more? Actually, it's not an S. It's his family sigil. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he got so it from sad. his weird ship. <laughs> he yeah, has a whole S bunch there. of tools and stuff there that he can use S only there. one time. Wait, what happens to the S in that movie when after he takes it off? Does it reappear on his chest like it never left? I don't know. Or does he carry these people in his chest? <laughs> his mom just sh sews him another one. Well, no. Doesn't he, after he captures Jeez. Zod, doesn't he show up in like a crystal like seconds later or something? Yeah, yeah. He's like, <laughs> he's hurtling through outer space or something in that crystal. Mm -hmm. And he goes, I'll get you next there? time, super dupe. Yeah. Well, I mean, that was that, that's one of those additions that like was not part of uh, Donner's uh, idea for the movie because they they cut him off at the end, mm. and then the 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 other director fucking added in the <laughs> super chest thing and also added in a hilarious scene where Zod is you know using his super breath to blow a hurricane through the city and you know. Oh, he's got his super breath and a man's holding an ice cream cone. I wonder what'll happen. Oh, no. Yeah, so, you know, shit like that was added in Did after. Did it well, knock over the ice cream cone? It went in his face, yeah. Oh! And, yeah, and ice cream all over his face. And they played a slide whistle and everything. Does your know. evil know no bounds? <laughs> <laughs> I, you yeah. know, the part that bugs me isn't so much that the concept of the S being a portal is awful, because it is, but the problem is that that character has never had that power before. Yeah. Where did they get that idea from? Yeah, some serious power creep with Superman, man. Well, well the original Superman could driver. actually uh, destroy entire galaxies, but they had to remake him and scale his abilities down a little bit because he was too OP. Yeah, there's so he's not still Frieza, super they, OP. They changed him from a Frieza to a Vegeta. Like, early Vegeta. <laughs> There's always well, like, those problems with superhero movies. Whenever they have to do a reboot, they have to, like, establish a certain baseline level of power. But then in the second yeah. one, he's got to do something even greater. So if they right. ever have to reboot it again, you got to start back from scratch. Where, you know, you see a scene where Andrew Garfield's like, oh, I can swing. Wow, <laughs> amazing. The problem with Superman is he's always amazing. Yeah. And so That's the problem with, like, his DC weakness is heroes, boring. though. Like, straight up. Like, if you ever watch the Flash TV show... Every episode, he gets a new power. He's fucking throwing lightning bolts and making storms and going back. <laughs> you in must time and learn to balls. vibrate your legs twice as fast to reach the <laughs> mecha universe. Flash is getting nerfed to shit, man. They're not even going to support it in HTML5 anymore. Yeah, thank God. <laughs> That's fair, yeah. Dude, I like Poor what guy. you said about Lucius Fox, though. Like, uh, also, I think I just called him Lucius. And you Lucius. Did, yeah. I'm starting to worry about the way that I pronounce names, but that's another story <laughs> for another day. Um,. The Lucius Fox in The Dark Knight uh -huh. is the worst person of all time. And I, I think <laughs> I've brought up this exact anecdote on the show yeah, once. Yeah. But I think we've done a few of these bits in, already. In The Dark Knight, Batman's like, hey, I gotta find the Joker. Can you turn on the NSA for me? And he specifically says, once the box is open, it can't be closed again. And then Lucius Fox goes, I'm not gonna do, I'll do a lot of things, but I'm not gonna do that. And then Christian Bale's like, please. And he's like, all right. But this is the last time. He oh, said yeah. when you turn on the box, <laughs> you can never turn it off oh. again. Yeah, yeah. I thought he meant I will only make exceptions to my moral standards one more time. I, I well, guess, but like... <laughs> I will say in fairness, in The Dark Knight Rises, you know, Lucius Fox isn't working for Batman anymore. That's true. He took a stand you know? after he opened up every electronic <laughs> yeah, device yeah. and surveillance yeah. and quit. <laughs> That's like, what the one more time meant. That's like, we'll do one more heist yeah. together and then I'm out. <laughs> He's like mm -hmm. the inverse Edward Snowden or something. He's Val Kilmer in Heat. I think he means... Now you got me started. Once you open it up, like... You, there's no way that you can ever go back to the way it was before, mm -hmm. not as in like a... Yeah. Not back to a pre-9-11 world. Right, yeah. Yeah, he's, 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 he's got to go back, back to the past Samurai Jack. Watch out. Black to the blah, 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 blah. <laughs> to play the shitty games that sucked ass? That suck ass, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Samurai Jack was known for that. Mm -hmm. Dude, Why have you seen... Why is Eden still locked? 
Have you seen uh, Val Kilmer's Reddit account? No. He's like a cool dude. Is he? He just, every once in a while, he just shows up. I mean, like, someone will be like, yeah, you know, Top Gun was a really good movie, and he'll just, official Val Kilmer will pop in and be like, hey, thanks for mentioning that. Me and Tom had a lot of fun filming it. Those were the days. <laughs> oh, and then, man. yeah, it's amazing. He's just like a really, really laid back sort of dude. Yeah, well, I mean, you see what happened to his body. He might as well be. Well, right? <laughs> uh, yeah. Wait, what happened to his body? Nah, he's just fat he's now. A little soft. Oh, okay. He's like sixty or something, right? I thought you were yeah. making a really, really bad taste joke that he's like paralyzed or something. No, oh, you didn't hear? Awful. Yeah. <laughs> Glad you didn't make that joke. No, no, he's just now. Like, th this is one of bastard. those times where, like, I, now that we've talked about it, I'm like, please, Val Kilmer, don't get in a terrible <laughs> accident and get paralyzed in the next week. <laughs> I already had a bunch of Linkin Park references in the Kerbal Space Program episodes that went up right after the events of like two weeks ago and people were like, oh, that's a little insensitive. And then, and we're gonna, oh, wow, it's blood's still fresh and they're already making fun of Al Kilmer, huh? <laughs> you gotta either not have a backlog or put annotations yeah. <laughs> on your videos. Also, by the way, I wanted to mention because someone said I was fat shaming. I'm a big fat guy. <laughs> This is our work. We're allowed to. We're allowed to be fat and, and make fun of other fat. People. I make fun of fat people all the time, and Lisa's like, "How can you do that?" And I'm like, "I'm fat. I got like a free card." Mm. Exactly. Yeah, you get a pass. That's the one. That's the one benefit of being fat. Like I, I'm not saying I'm not exactly the same. I'm just saying that's fat fuck. <laughs> Who exactly. do you go to to get verified whether you're allowed to say it or not? You have um, to. I mean, the is it just the up scale. to another person to On say the it? Ground. What's your body the index? scale? Uh, but what does the scale have to say? Fat. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, probably. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. You're All right, not that's fat, easy. Nick. <laughs> I got really he scared. Wants that power. Cause like, uh, oh, that was not a good use of that card. Uh, we have a scale. I've been eating a little healthier. You know, walking around a bit more. And uh, I stepped on the scale and it said 81.8. And I said, what? Yeah. That's not good. Are you dying? <laughs> yeah, like that's. <laughs> I'm like really, really sick, and also w where, <laughs> like, yeah. how how can I look like this and weigh 81 pounds? It was in kilograms. Your colon is super dense. Yeah, <laughs> it was in kilograms, and I was like, ah, okay, that okay, seems yeah. more that's accurate. Fair enough. Oh, thanks, chat. Said, so don't worry, you're getting there. That's. Pretty <laughs> oh man, got him. Brutal. Yeah. I, yeah, I mean, I am um, getting there, so it's true. Yeah. Time yeah. comes for us all eventually. Yeah, I, I went and bought so. cookies and cupcakes yesterday. Mm. <laughs> oh, dude, that reminds me. I have fucking. We went to a candy store yesterday. The was it which like one? A Wonka store? No, it was called uh, Dylan's Candy Shop, and it was very expensive. <laughs> but, it's actually uh, Dylan's. <laughs> Who are the five best best rappers ever? Think about it. <laughs> Dylan, 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 and Dylan, because I spit hot fire. <laughs> I don't think you can do that. Can I not? Why? I don't know. <laughs> what did the scale say? I, it's, did the scale say you're black and you can make that joke? Because uh, I, I doubt it. I have to say I'm Jamaican, actually. You know? <laughs> Jamaican me crazy. That's what you're doing. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Candy. Tell me about your candy and what types you bought. So I got sea salt and almond clusters, sea mm, salt oh. and uh, peanut. I, oh, with, I with like that flavor chocolate. combination. I like yeah. nuts. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I got a uh, chocolate covered cashews. Mm. Uh, Ooh. I, I've got like I've got like this uh, dark chocolate covered sea salt and caramel. Dude, thing. okay, I'm just gonna. Play <laughs> off the sea salt, buddy. But I like sea salt. How many, how many different sea salt flavored foods do you need to get? It's trendy. Dude, it's just too many sea salt flavored foods. Mix it up a little bit. Salty and sweet is amazing, though. That's what they say. Salty well, and sweet. Why not get some with like treat to eat? <laughs> they do say that all the time. Uh, all the time. Why don't Especially they? Especially on the New Jersey shoreline. Just mix it up and put some volcanic salt in one of them. <laughs> You're talking about the pink stuff. Yeah, the pink stuff. That's so trendy too. That is trendy. Just any kind of salt that isn't normal salt. Yeah, just salt for commoners. Salt. 
That's like uh, when they have pink salt and stuff. So we were just talking exactly. about that a second yeah, ago. It's, it's volcanic. Oh. Sorry, I was supposed eating chocolate. No, that's no it's problem. From the Himalayans. Can we talk about, like, favored nuts? Because I feel like people are way into the cashews. Cashews! <laughs> cashews, cashews are, are like, very expensive but delicious. They're I like, like pistachios a lot, too. Mm. Cashews are my favorite nut, I will it's say. It's one of those yeah. nuts. It's like a ribeye steak. Is like, I don't want to buy it myself because it's expensive. But if you got them, I'll, mm -hmm. I'll love them. Okay. I can't I'm eat most nuts, cashews. so like no oh, almonds right, for man. me. But I can have peanuts, I can have pistachios and cashews. I, I like all of those. Straight up with you. Those are my top three. I'm a peanut man. Really? Yeah. Plain, dry roasted, honey, what, what I, do you like? Uh, salted peanuts. And like, yeah. I, don't, I don't mind wow. like a honey or... I like or honey a, ones. Yeah. I'm a, you know, I'm a peanut dude. I like, I like peanuts. Oh, that's a milk like toast walnuts, choice too. for a milk toast man. That's so, the thing you know. is I feel like peanuts <laughs> are like the, um... They're like the vanilla ice cream. They don't get enough respect. What about least favorite nut? I hate, Ooh. um, and hate is a strong word. I don't like Brazil nuts. Oh, really? It, it's Which just- one of those? They're huge. I don't like almonds. Ooh, I can see why, but I disagree. Uh, the They're really hard, and then the textures, um, I don't know. They got like a skin on them usually that not yeah. everyone speaks. I love almonds, but I can see where you're coming from. I'm not crazy about almonds either. I don't, I don't like any nut that takes more than one bite to eat, is basically where I'm at. Uh, what about walnuts? So you could break them up. I'm okay with a walnut, but a walnut's almost too much nut for me as well. I'll admit. I actually too love Too much walnuts. nuts. Walnuts are probably my number two, <laughs> to be really? honest with you. Yeah. They look like brains. Yeah, yeah they're I weird looking, and they that. taste like totally unique. They when you eat them, like you walnuts. take their knowledge. They make my mouth itch if I eat too many of them. I think Dude, that's that's might the be allergic. Girl. Yeah. <laughs> that's <laughs> what I can't good, do. Though. They're pretty good. <laughs> One almond will put me out for like the rest of the day of mouth itch. I can't handle it. Oh man. I also have to ask because this came up yesterday. What do you call a fruit? This isn't a joke. It's a trivia question. What do you call <laughs> a fruit that's green on the inside and fuzzy Kiwi. on the outside? Yeah. Kiwi. You know what? It, apparently, I I got New Zealand explained. Refers to New Zealanders. Well, only. they said they said, NL. It's not called a kiwi. It's called a kiwi fruit. You also said New Zealanders are former prisoners. Yeah, that was Australia. No. I mean, you know, six of one, <laughs> half a dozen of the other. I was actually making a tongue in cheek <laughs> flight of the Concords reference, but we don't call them kiwi fruits in North America. We call them kiwis. We yeah, do. Call, we do yeah. call them kiwis. We may be wrong, but that's what we do. Mm-hmm. That's like America's motto, honestly. We're big yeah. on being wrong and doing it anyway. <laughs> hey, yeah. you know that thing that you've been doing for like a few hundred years? We're gonna do it slightly differently. <laughs> and then, then we're, we're gonna, gonna American. We're gonna yeah. yell at you when you do it the way you've been doing it, because it's wrong. <laughs> yeah. We're gonna put it up on a pedestal, and we're gonna say it's a tradition, and we're gonna say if you don't do it this way, you're an idiot. That is what liberty is, my friends. That's what freedom looks like. So that's liberty how liberty fraternity. dies. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. By the way, dude, Natalie Portman, mm -hmm. you think she, like, is Fate? really sad? Oh. <laughs> like, Why? she didn't have to do that ballerina movie. Well, yeah, but she won, like, she was part of a Best Picture winner there. That was a great movie, though. Doesn't she's like, she's mm -hmm. not sad. <laughs> well, it's true, okay. Look, depression can strike anybody. This is not mm -hmm. really where I was going with this, but it's a good point <laughs> to make regardless. But, she's, like, she, as a kid, she was, like touted as this, like, actress who's, like, so talented. Somehow she gets roped into doing all three of the Star Wars prequels, and then she's yeah. like, hey, I got a steady job in the Marvel Universe. Oh, cool. What are you, are you gonna be, like, Black Widow or something like that? Or, you know, <laughs> Hawkeye's <laughs> wife? No, I'm gonna be Jane Foster, the love <laughs> interest in Thor, who is just, like, killed off screen before the third movie, apparently. <laughs> the only mistake she made was hiring her agent. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it. I feel like she just backed out of the movie because she had better shit to do. Uh, yeah. Yeah, maybe really maybe she part. actually didn't want to be a part of it, so I'll... Wait, I think, this... um... <laughs> so, chat says Jane Foster becomes Thor in the comics? Yeah. <laughs> what? I, I feel Wait, like you like could... anything's possible now. <laughs> That's what I was gonna say, like... I feel like you could make that statement with any nouns filling in the blanks. You're like, oh yeah, <laughs> J. Jonah Jameson became Spider-Man for a, a, one of those weird arcs in the 1980s. <laughs> well, yeah, so like, uh, weird sometimes. 
the uh, the thing is, like, uh, in the comics, I, I think, correct me if I'm wrong, chat, but originally, basically what happens is Thor gets thrown to Earth as punishment. Mm. And, uh, and right, they, he goes they there all the time. Him. Well, so, like, basically, yeah. like, Odin sends him there to be punished, and Bob he Odenkirk. forgets Bob. that Dude! he's Thor. That would be a great <laughs> casting choice, but I, I, I digress. Continue, Rob. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, like, he, like, forgets that he's Thor, and then he has to, like, transform into Thor every mm. time he wants to solve yeah, a mystery or something. You know, whatever the fuck he does. It's people with a hammer. Doctor yeah, Octopus. Mysteries. Mysteries. Mostly mysteries. Doctor Octopus becomes Spider-Man at one point? You can't do that. <laughs> Was he like a like it's a clandestine like he took over Spider-Man's body or like Spider-Man broke his back and Doc Ock was like, don't worry about it, dude. I got, I got your back for a while. Yeah. <laughs> Literally got your back because it's broken, I found out. Yeah, no, I didn't. It was a good one. Mm. He's in Peter's body. All right. Wait, that ah, I mean, like, a lot of people are in Peter's body. What does that mean? Like, like psychically, or like a cybernetic implant, or something, or I, yeah, I mean, sexually. <laughs> comics sometimes just gets too fucking. Doesn't stupid. like Peter Parker die in the comics or something, and then another yeah, person comes he... over and takes over being Spider-Man? There's a couple of Spider-Mans. There's even Miles Morales who. Yeah. Uh, Mary is... Jane is Spider-Man for a bit. <laughs> Miles Morales, isn't that Tails That's from Tails. Sonic and yeah. Knuckles? Uh, I have no idea. Thor becomes unworthy of the hammer, and then Jane becomes Thor. I'm not trying to make this like a, you know, shit on Jane Foster party, but how is Thor unworthy of the hammer and Jane Foster is like next in line? That's so, that's that like, part? we're fight. Yahoo's going down the shitter. We're firing the, the CEO of Yahoo, and, oh, new CEO, the Yahoo CEO's wife. <laughs> you know, it's a little... Nepotism, it feels like. Well, you, you should know, pick up the hammer. That's the whole the thing, comics, isn't it? In the comics, uh, Captain America can pick up Mjolnir. That's pretty sweet. Why? Yeah. Because he's like super pure and like good intentioned and like totally. So he's a, a good god? Dude. No, but you don't you have, just to, be have a god. to be worthy of, of the hammer. Yeah. Like the Infinity Stone guy can pick it up. What about Why? the Infinity Ward guys? <laughs> can they pick it up? Not the new Are ones. They pure? <laughs> why? Yeah, not them. We've already gone over why does Iron Man just give all the other Avengers Iron Man suits? Because it's it's yeah. a force multiplier. You can't be made worse by having an Iron Man suit. Why aren't all the Iron Man suits made out of Wakandan vibranium? Well, the people of vibranium. demand answers. <laughs> Tony in Iron Man three. Tony Stark perfects the formula that allows you to regrow body parts. You can grow <laughs> human flesh in your chest. He can't find a way to replicate the atomic structure of vibranium? They also make like a digital assistant into a human being which fights. <laughs> Thor smashes an infinity stone with his hammer and it becomes a superhero. They can't make <laughs> more metal? <laughs> yeah. That's a fair point. What if that all ended up being like a big commercial for Bing or something at the end? <laughs> what? Like how? Who made Mjolnir again? Was uh, it, it wasn't Odin, was it? It was like some other. No. It used to be a dwarf star or something. Well, I think it, I think the dwarves in Norse mythology made it. Maybe. I think, or a dwarf, maybe. No, uh, I think it was one. Maybe it was one of the four. Um, what you call it? Like death. Horseman? They're, I mean, they're like the four horsemen, but they call them something else, like the four creators or something, or I can't remember what they're called. Uh, Entropies. They're called the four Entropies. Oh, what oh, about Entropy? It's perfect. Oh, what about them? <laughs> I don't know. I think one of them maybe made the hammer. I'm not sure. How are the Dude. Isaac runs going? <clears throat> I'm doing uh, a lost run right now, and I got Dr. Fetus and sad bombs. I, uh, I died twice and got bored and forced Jess to play a run, so oh, okay. right now. Oh, yeah. Nice. Yeah, I'm in some sort of weird state of complacency <laughs> until this goes away, so whatever. Would you like to move on to <laughs> oh, a golf nice. game? Yeah, yeah, actually, that would be great. All right, let's do Sounds that. Fun. Too, I just died anyway. Perfect timing. <laughs> see, you in, see you in three minutes, Chad. Three Hell deaths? Yeah. What the fuck? Is Isaac harder or am I worse? I think... That's all RNG. Once you get out... You play? Exactly. Once you get like, out of the Isaac months. language, <laughs> it's it takes a bit to kind of reacclimate oh. yourself. 
I got a bunch of shit items too. I had cursed eye, which didn't help, and then I got a bunch of health downs. Yeah. Stupid oh, you took eye. pills. Stupid cursed eye always shows up when you can't see your items. Which golf are we playing? It's yeah. cursed. It's it's up to you, Nick. Golf with your friends because okay. we did it eight last time. Fair enough. Let's go golf. Golf it also though they did finish the pirates cove. It's not of under construction, so that'll mm. be next time. Oh okay. Um, yeah, and also, you know, in the comics, there's, like, a whole storyline, you know, spoilers, kinda, but because of how shitty the resolution is, I don't care. Okay. Batman, like, Bruce Wayne dies. Mm. He gets shot in the head or something. Yeah. Uh, eventually, like, a year or two later, it gets retconned out, and they bring Bruce Wayne back. Yeah, they bring him back. Uh, wait, let me guess. The Flash goes through, uh wormhole to go back in time and he pushes the bullet out of the way before it shoots Bruce Wayne in the head. Way stupider than that. Oh, now I can't get to those depths then. You're gonna have to tell me. <laughs> the bullet sends him back in time just because I don't, I don't know why. Uh, and he like, he, he goes back in time and has ancient times adventures as Batman. And then <laughs> oh no! The, yeah, and then he comes back to the future. Nice. Medieval so, Batman. He got trained even yeah. better. That's pretty sick. Yeah. Kappa. I'm sure so, they have better training regiments in the future than in the past. Uh, yeah, so that's why I, I only read Batman graphic novels and not the, the main series of Batman. Please look at Bear's Twitter. What the heck is that? Uh, he got, like, a, an enormous... In donut terms, I guess that would be called an eclair. Mmm. Oh. I love eclairs. I, I, eclairs are usually like chocolate and cream or something, right? Yeah, it's chocolate like pastry, chocolate on the top, and then uh, custard inside. This is just a... It, it's a donut that looks about the size of like a Samsung Galaxy Note 3. <laughs> hmm. I don't know what kind of donut it is, though. I hate to say it, I don't like rectangular donuts. Hmm. A circular, because they get, there's too much surface area in the middle for me. I like a I ring donut because it's all, like, it's equally cooked and it, every bite's as good as the last. I can say typically that I go nuts for donuts. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Do very much enjoy them. Especially, what's you guys, what's your guys' favorite donut? I'm, uh, honestly... I mean, I don't eat that many donuts. I really like an old-fashioned cake donut with just like a simple syrup and a light mm. feather dusting of sugar on it. Oh, yeah. My favorite are just chocolate-covered donuts. Are you just like a, a bread donut guy or a cake donut guy? Um, I mean, I like the blueberry cake ones. Okay. But I like, I just prefer a regular chocolate-covered donut. I like donut holes, too. Oh. I love you. I love you too, Jess. Something up I love you. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Bye, Jess. I'm, I'm making her get me water. Something about uh, the donut hole is better than like a regular sandwich. donut. Yeah, you get like the whole donut in every single bite. Yeah, I, I guess that's it. I, I mean, I feel like it almost tastes better, but that can't be right because they're made out of the same thing. <laughs> uh, do you want me to make the lobby or did you make one, Nick? I've been trying to fix some audio problem that chat's saying I'm having, so I didn't right. make it yet. I'll make one. Also, hi, Mouth. See, I'm ah! <laughs> we're talking about comic books. Yeah, it's your mm -hmm. it's your wheelhouse. Oh, I saw. <laughs> and first of all, Doc Ock doesn't take over Peter Parker's body. He kills him, <laughs> and then he sees what Peter Parker was all about, and he becomes a changed man, and he becomes Superior Spider-Man, and, and he tears shit up. It's good. <laughs> so, in order to become a better Spider-Man, he had to kill the Spider-Man. It's simple. We yeah. kill the Spider-Man. You know. Hey, Nick, if you like clicker games, by the way, you should check out Summoner's Wars because it's basically like clicker hero but RPG combat. Okay, I'm in. It's a mobile game, and it's pay to win. But it's it's like you can just play it infinitely almost. You know, like clicker heroes well, or something. I don't know. I played a lot of Merge Dragons, and I think it broke my phone, so maybe I shouldn't do it. Oh, I use a Apple iPad Pro. Yeah, play. like heated you up can my play it on battery. your phone. It heated up my battery so bad that it like made my screen pop out. 
<laughs> oh, you must have been really playing the Jeez, shit out. Yeah. Of you, what kind of what kind of numbers did you get up to there? It's not Ten even it's not even a clicker game. It's like you drag dragons into other dragons, and they become bigger and stronger dragons, and then you like harvest energy out of stuff. It's not really a clicker, but I don't know. It made my battery really hot for some reason. I wasn't even doing <laughs> anything all that crazy. Look how so I gotta like go to Albany are. now to fix my phone. The, why do the butterflies fly backwards? Yeah, they, that's weird. Did you know you can scroll just a, the butterflies? What? Yeah, you? <laughs> in, All right. Apparently, he does take over his body. I was misinformed. <laughs> oh, <laughs> but right. oh, how? And why? Well, he's got octopus powers. Everybody knows. Yeah, octopus but like have the power to take over people's bodies. Oh, that's right. That's right. Because that's how he understands what he was all about. Because I was just like, yeah, that's right. He takes and he's over. He's really like, good at squeezing into like bottles. You can do that yeah. really easily. Oh, There's that's so right. So many bad game names. Oh yeah, you yeah. don't show the lobbies when you go in. Holy moly! What? I don't know why this game attracts that. It's such a casual, chill game, and yet there's like crazy, awful shit. I Doc will say, Doc is dying, so he swaps brains so he can live longer. That's right. That's right. Mm. Huh? Well, I will say, I highly recommend. Uh, a great deal of uh, classic Batman comic graphic novels. There's some good ones, and Let's they're go. a good read. We need like, uh, two more people. I don't have an invite. It... You know, Information is in the Discord. Um, you the never John get an invite. Oh yeah, that's right. It's <laughs> no worries. I'm getting in some pretty good practice right here. <laughs> oh, I forgot I could practice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh Let's my do. lord. Did oh, Doc no. just infest your brain? <laughs> that was a good one. He took over his body. I could hear the difference. Right. Sometimes if you try to mix your sneeze up, it's more satisfying. I try to stop it sometimes, but it's like too much of a habit now. I can't. I can kill you. Yeah, oh, well, I don't know if that's true. Embrace the release. Yeah, you're just going to prolapse your anus. Because, you like, do that, just, you ever think like it. that had to happen in the wild? You're like, oh, the neighboring tribe is coming to raid us. Everybody hide. And then one dude sneezes, and it's all over, right? you got to be able to hold in a sneeze in dire circumstances. Your heart stops. You can't You can't do it. I'll do it. I'll do it right now. Not good for you. Just come here, Kevin. We need one more player. I'm here. I'm um, and it's won't let me type. I want to play time. like a really good RPG that I haven't played before, but I don't know what to play. That's not going to take like 105 hours. The Witcher three and kill my stream. <laughs> uh, that's like 105 hours and kill my stream. Yeah, Persona yeah. five. <laughs> oh, I that's really want to play that actually. Persona non grata. Mm -hmm. Grata. -ta. I'm still <laughs> pissed off at them for like trying to tell me what I can and can't stream though. Yeah. You you should 100% Skyrim. Ah, oh. no. I've already beat Skyrim, and it was one time was enough for me. I'm with you, dude. Yeah. I'm one and done on games like that. No offense, Even with when they release DLC. What? Get, get 100 mods and make all the dragons into some kind of choo-choo trains. I, don't, I just don't find that entertaining. I like playing within the boundaries of usually of what the, the creator has provided. Mm. Yeah, but Funny you enough, mean, I, like I can see the appeal. Opposite. You mean God. <laughs> right, yeah. Uh, you said the creator with a capital T. <laughs> <laughs> he means Tyler. Oh! Yeah, right, yeah, yeah, so, yeah. I haven't played Final Fantasy VI, that's true, but I don't know where I could get that. Now, when you say six, do you mean three? Uh, The one with, I'm guessing they're, they're talking about the one with the crazy clown guy and the magic tech suits. Jafar. Uh, it's <laughs> not, it, no, it's not the evil genie from Aladdin. Um... I don't know what his name is. Why do you call him the evil genie from Aladdin. I mean, <laughs> we're he on is a first, an evil genie. We're on a first name basis with Jafar. <laughs> also, he's not a genie. Well, he's like a he's a vizier or something like that. I can't remember. Yeah, he's well, he's, he's a he's vizier not... until he's a genie. He does get <laughs> genie powers at one point. He does. He's a brazier. Yeah. 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 And number two, he's an evil genie, and they're like, oh god. Our genie sucks compared to this powerful genie. How are we going to beat him? Well, no, in the first one, too, he gets genie powers. I didn't remember that. Yeah, that's what he does. He, he, you know, remember, he becomes the giant snake, and he, you know, fucking has, like, super Satan powers and shit. 
Yeah. This strikes me, uh, by the way, I don't know if this is a Canadian thing, but are mm. your Dairy Queens also called Braziers? <laughs> no. No? <laughs> right, we have these Dairy Queens, and it's like Dairy Queen Brazier. I don't know. I don't know what the fuck. Like, that. Matt, you know some shit on the you know side. What I'm about? Timey thing you put fire into. Yeah, it's I don't like know. Or 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 I was thinking of like the yeah the busty thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Somebody somebody googled Dairy Queen Brazier and then to make, explain that I'm not crazy to me as well. You might be. Thanks, Agam, for the nine months. We Slim have our baby Swak Swaka. We what? have those. We have those. <laughs> it just means they have a grill. Oh! What a strange yeah. way to describe that, though. Oh, yeah, it crazy. You went right over the hole. That's I know. Oh. It hurt. It hurt. <laughs> In and out of the hole. I can't wait. I, uh, I had a time. Uh, speaking of, of food, I had a uh, cat's delicatessen sandwich Ooh. yesterday. I saw it the picture. so good! What did yeah. Jess think of the line? Is you there know what? what? It wasn't super packed. <laughs> oh, it's weird. Oh, okay. It's like this is either really glitchy or. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, it wasn't crazy packed uh, yesterday, but uh, it was. Uh, well, we did meet a crazy guy on a bike. Uh, who... ah! Ah! That's, that's where they <laughs> always are. Not the right? bike, man. <laughs> How dare yeah. you? He uh, he said that my name is is Poppy now, and that Judge <laughs> should call me Poppy. Oh, hey, Poppy. So, oh, yeah. I love so... it when you call me that. Uh huh. Big, Big Poppy. Poppy. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, so yes! Thank you, thank you. You're welcome. You cost me a hole in one, so you got one instead. <laughs> oh, dang it! Did he ball bounce you? He did ball bounce me. Oh man, Al Poppy That's Patrol. Rough. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, he also so like he was like, "Hey man, you you got a cigarette?" I'm like, "Yeah, sure." And and, and then but then he spends he like walks with us for a while and talks to us about how you know, information technology has led to a bunch of deaths and identity theft and stuff. That's and true. Like, yeah. Yeah, and he's like... Sounds like he's got his like, head screwed on straight right now. I mean, it's like, yeah, it's, it's true. <laughs> and he's like, he's just like tell, just tell me if you agree with this. But since credit cards, how many identity <laughs> thefts are there? And I'm like, yeah, no. Yeah, there's, there's a lot. You're, Did you you're ask right. him if he has one of those RFID protection wallets? Because that'll probably <laughs> I help. I do. This there is you a go. Good idea. It's a fossil wallet too, so it's all like leather and nice. <laughs> I don't, but I also have to call Visa like once every six months to tell them that like, hey, somebody in Amsterdam bought a loaf of pumpernickel on my credit card. Can you like not yeah. let them do that? Somebody give my card again when I was at the gas station. I exactly. guess I gotta get another one. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh I'm not the first hole. Let's go. Yeah. I guess they have like stations set up all over New York City that like read your Easy Pass, so when you're driving Ooh. around the city, they can like keep track of you. Nice. Yeah. 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 So that's yeah. something yeah. they do. Well, the dude, he was on a bike, and I, I gotta tell you, he right. said he was 63 years old. He looked pretty good. So whatever drugs he was on, <laughs> I gotta take some of those because uh, he, he was he was a good looking dude for a 63 year old man. On a bike. Okay. <laughs> well, there you go. Yeah. It's all the cycling. Maybe. Well, it might have been no, the meth. Definitely the drugs, though. Yeah, I think it might. I mean, he was clearly oh, fucked God. up on something. Is all I'm. Is all I'm getting at. Here. Paranoia sounds like. Mm, yeah, that's probably part of it. I wish yeah. they would take Fucking a guy like that and put him on Survivor. Mm-hmm. Just that like, would be dangerous. It is a little there. insensitive, but. <laughs> Taking 16 homeless people and putting them on Survivor. I was just saying one, 16. Is, well, that's, that's not fair level. to the other 15. He's got like yeah, a exactly. huge built-in advantage. Oh, well, he's They're the sleeper get... cell. The rest of them are just going to get shanked and eaten. <laughs> are they cannibal homeless people? Yeah. <laughs> All the homeless people in New York are cannibals. That's the oh. one thing you got to watch out for. That's it's one of those projection, Rob. ideas <laughs> that makes me wish we lived in a completely moralist society. Like mm. we're we're closing in on it, but we're not even like we haven't begun like to dig in the depths of the depravity. Six months out from being all the way. <laughs> yeah, it's like one of those things that was like 
you know, people talk about experiments you can never run due to them being extremely unethical. It's like, what if you took two identical twins and you, like, raised one, one of them until the age of 18 in a completely yeah. dark room where they never experienced light? And then... <laughs> yeah. You know who did those things is the Nazis. Mmm. And the, the Russians, Nazis actually. were not in power long enough to do an effective twin study like that. Mm. Well, you know, the Russians, move. they had that psychological experiment where they killed dogs and then put a bunch of electrodes in their decapitated dog heads. I have move. seen those gifts. Yeah. Well, Don't yeah. do that. Oh, boy. Well, see, the thing is, those were, like, terrible experiments, obviously, and, and horribly unethical. But we did learn a lot from them as well. Yeah, I'm not arguing you can't learn something from it, but, like, don't do it. Yeah, definitely don't kill dogs. We don't need to learn these things. Let's, let's yeah. be honest. Nobody here is in a position where that's even plausible. <laughs> right, yeah, but... Does anyone here have think tenure? Anybody here in chat can't cut heads off dogs and put electrodes Set them? electrodes up to them and submit the videos to nature? I don't think so, man. I guarantee there's one person in this chat that can do it. He's got something better to be doing with his time, then. Yeah, probably. I'll have tell you, you not seen the to... show Ozark? I have not seen yeah, that. Yeah, I, I yeah, watched man. like one and a half episodes of that, actually. It's, Sorry, it's the, yeah. the cutting the animals up reminded me of it. Yeah, the mm. the, the kid. Is it on uh, yeah. Cartoon it's Network? Netflix original. Jason Bateman's the director. <sighs> yeah, and yeah. star. Some of it, it's like a little, I'm kind of like, I don't want to say cliche, but it's just like, you know. I, I could see a lot of it. I predicted it before it happened. Yeah, yeah. I was like, but oh, I, I mean, think this guy's going to do this twist. But it's still, it's enjoyable. Um, and the one thing, you know what I'm talking about. That was pretty cool. Hear me yeah. out here. I'm pitching a show to Netflix. Okay. How sick would it be if they combined making a murderer with... And Daredevil. With who wants to be a millionaire. <laughs> okay. Who wants to be a murderer. Who wants, who wants to be to... a murderer. <laughs> right. No. So you get a million dollars if you have the balls to kill somebody? Exactly. Okay. You've oh nailed it right there. I mean, I'd watch. It's a very popular show. Mm hmm Oh! Did you get a hole-in-one jumping over everything? I jumped twice, and I got That's in there. Not bad. You got to do some, like, serious, like, jury, you know, examination kind of thing going on. Like, you, you got to... Because you can't just, like, get random dudes because everybody would just go in there and just fucking murder people. You got to get, like... You know, we got a Mormon reverend, and we'll see right, if he yeah. wants a million dollars. You know what I mean? Like, that, that'll that make it interesting. And then he has to kill people he disagrees with. But, yeah. like, the first one is like, you know, you have to kill this dude who is a serial killer. And that's 500 bucks. And then, <laughs> Dexter Simulator. When you get up, $32,000 is just like, we just picked a random person from the studio audience. And then when they get up to, like, a million dollars, it's his own, like, firstborn child. <laughs> That's like the show Nerve or whatever, where they have to go around doing dubious. the different things. Oh. Yeah, that sounds good. Actually, okay, <clears throat> I'm gonna make a lot of people hate me. Okay, right now. Good. You love I, doing uh, that. I'm ready. Yeah, it's I mean, it's always fun. But uh, so in Florida, I you know there was you can legally guns. shoot a man dead because <laughs> well <laughs> it's called stand your ground. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Yeah, no, that's true. No, but uh, so there was a, um, so, so my cousins were watching uh, this show. It's called Impractical Jokers. Oh, yeah, okay. I gotta say, that might be like one of the worst fucking shows I've ever seen. In so that, yeah. I've never seen Impractical Jokers, but I saw yeah. all four of the Impractical Jokers on a late night show. And I was like, I'm never going to watch this. <laughs> they, were, they were like, yeah, this fucking hoser over here, he, <laughs> we made him you know, chug a bunch of hot sauce up his asshole. And then they laugh for like 45 minutes. And I was like, yeah. that's not funny. A picture yeah, of the aftermath would be funny. But... No, that's that's basically what the show, like my, my experience with the show is like literally a bunch of guys sit behind a monitor and they, there's a guy in, uh, you know, with, with the headphones and hearing what they say. And, oh. and they sit behind the monitor and they, they, they go in the headset and they're like, like, hey, hey, hey. You, you know what? Tell, tell her, tell her, tell her your toes smell funny. <laughs> Whoa! And they just like they hysterically <laughs> laugh at like the stupidest shit. That's hilarious. It makes me so mad. 
It's Do her toes actually smell angry. funny, or is he just making it up? I, you know what? I don't know. I, I was watching this stupid show on Monday, and all these talentless idiots thought it was hilarious to sing the James <laughs> Bond theme song at the same time. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fair, fair. Okay, fair. I had to change my ball to gold, so I'm, I'm coming back in now. But all I'm oh saying is God. we don't have a show on True TV, you know what I mean? That's <laughs> <laughs> all I yeah. mean. All right? Game already running. Oh, no. Did you... Not the basketball one. I'm gonna ask you a question as judgment-free as possible. Did you quit the functioning lobby to change your ball color to gold and lock yourself out of being in the game? I didn't lock myself out. You started it, but yeah, I left. I got cranberry juice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> you were like the healthiest dude I know. Um. <laughs> uh... <laughs> I ate bone marrow poutine last night. Um, Whoa! Pretty healthy. I, I, I think we have to like make a new lobby. Is, is there Good, because I hate that hole. So everybody click retire in the, Candyland in the menu. Candyland and dunk. Kind of glad I dodged that bullet, uh, actually. All right. I, was gonna, I mean, I'm going to do the same settings, but like just put a two at the end of the game name to find it. Bone marrow kind of freaks me out. Does, does it taste as weird as it sounds? It's like, no, it's just like a uh, salty kind of like broth it's like goo, sort of right? stuff. Broth? Yeah, it's like, it's not like broth. I don't know. It's just like, it's I don't like know how to explain gravy. it. It's like, it's, it's not, it's, ch it's chunkier, but not It reminds like... me of like gravy that's been sitting in the fridge for a while and all the fat settles on the top. Yeah, it's a little congealed, uh, slightly, join I up, guess. Join up, join up, join up, join up. Does it add much to something that already has gravy? Um, well, for this, I think it was uh, maybe slightly gimmicky, I guess. Oh. Um, join up, join up, join up, join up. It was good, though. It was a really good poutine. I'm joining, I'm joining, I'm joining. Where's your dang game? It's called Why Dad oh, there it is. too. I see. You can move back to the front, so it's actually easier to find. Oh, there we go. Same. Yeah, Same congealed password. is not a very appetizing word, I agree. Nope. Ah, I like it. I got no problem with bone marrow. I'm f yeah. Oh, Malf, when you joined, it ruined the font. It's in, like, wind wingdings now. Are any of you guys <laughs> going to mess with Path of Exile when the new stuff comes out? Probably not. Yeah. I'll play it eventually. I'm not really in a rush, though. Uh, I want to play hardcore as soon as it comes out. Like thought, you, you uh, mean you want to play hardcore or you want to play the hardcore? Permadeath mode. Permadeath gotcha. mode. Yeah. Permadeath mode. <sighs> That's cool. Permadepeche mode. I wouldn't be a huge fan of that, to be honest with you. Yeah. No, right. it's it's so satisfying, though, every time you get a little further. What's the, uh, what's the big Depeche Mode song? Uh... <laughs> Yeah, that one. Hup. Hup. That's Hup. the one. Yep. Depeche Mode. Someone's got to know. What's the big Depeche <laughs> Mode song? I don't remember. It's like them it and is, the Deftones. The I, I have no knowledge of what they've done. Forget you don't know Deftones? What do the Deftones do? They got the Shove It one. Everybody loves that. I don't know Shove It. How does how does that one go? Well, I can't sing it. It's not it's not Ooh. something you just sing. It's not Off catchy that way. But they were very popular right around when Corn was coming up, and a little before it actually. But then they kind of kept on. Whereas Corn is either so good or so bad. There's no Korn in between. went like deeper into the thing that they were already doing, but Deftones kind of found like a new alternative sound that's still good. Oh yeah, in my arms, I know that one. All I ever wanted, all I ever uh, wanted yeah. is here. Thank you, thank you, chat. I appreciate it. Is here in my heart. Has that one been used in a, a DC Universe trailer yet? <laughs> yeah, it's played a very, very, very slow version. I think oh. I might. I think I might have accidentally forgotten that that's actually used in the Ghost in the Shell 2017 trailer. I, for, <laughs> I forgot. Oh, that's Enjoy the Silence. Well, the, I'm glad you called it by like a normal name, the name of the chorus, because everybody else, it's more iconic. They go like you know. 
oh, you know, do you, uh, have you ever listened to the Superman song? And I go, oh yeah, you know, I know that one. They go, it's not called Superman, it's called, you know, it's not easy. Open parentheses, Superman, close parentheses. Hmm. I call it the Scrub song. Who sings that? I don't know. Probably the Scrubs. <laughs> well, see, I'll tell you one thing. It's definitely not TLC. <laughs> They've they've had a strict scrubs policy for quite some time. And the answer is none. Oh, I've been muted. None scrubs. Mm-hmm. I would eat the shit out of this course. <laughs> I'm glad you didn't say TLC. It Can you hear me delicious. now? Hello, Mel. Yeah. I was Hello. muted too, Rob. <laughs> I was wondering. Uh, <laughs> I was like, I'm throwing up I... some air balls here, but uh, uh... <laughs> I didn't think it was that bad. I know you guys don't watch soccer, uh, but I think the world has gone mad when one player costs 222 million euros. Wow. Hey, yeah. sorry. I'll be right back, guys. No right worries. Back. Yeah. No, don't come back. <laughs> yeah, Neymar. Neymar. million? That's absurd. I mean, when they were selling players for 130 million, I didn't bat an eyelash. But 200 is just a little ridiculous, I think. But the problem is, he's always just trying to walk it in. Like, <laughs> I, I don't like Neymar. I'm gonna explain why. Don't like his haircut. Honestly, not, it's not a respectable his name haircut. sounds like a type of plastic Dupont would make. <laughs> You're talking about Gaddafi? Yeah, Neymar Gaddafi. He's actually Gaddafi's son. Gaddafi oh. sounds like a chocolate bar to me. Well, there's Godiva. There, well, there you go. That's probably it why. Sounds like, it sounds like what I say when your mom tries to kiss me. <laughs> Get off of me! <laughs> 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 They're talking about football, says Medina's. <laughs> of course. Oh, this is riveting the here. The ball at the feet Robert? and the thing. Yep. Oh, see, I it thought he was just going away from the mic, not from, like, everything. That's an exact example of the American thing from earlier. Yeah. No, we're going to name our own sport football. Fuck your football. We can't come up with our own name. There's, you know, what do you even... You just kick it at one point. That's it. It shouldn't... It, I agree that football should not be called football. It should be called, like, Tackle Ball or something. Tackle Ball is actually a great name. I am extremely pro Tackle Ball. <laughs> Oh. We Oh, I rimmed it. Oh no. Alright. Oh, I guess I'm going this way now. Have you guys noticed it's way easier to tell which ball is mine now that I have the hat? You don't have a hat on my screen actually. No. Does you went you went gold, but now you no longer have a hat. That's crazy. So ain't nothing but a hound dog. <laughs> Ain't nothing but a hound dog. dog, baby. This is coming from the stick puck guy? What I didn't name hockey. <laughs> I wish, dude. They hate on tackle ball? I think tackle ball is a like, good name. Like hockey Hockey? I mean, I don't know why it's called hockey. I'll admit. It's gotta right. be a reason. They should call it scrotum scrapers. I... Oh. You're fired. Well, because From... when <laughs> the quarterback is like, give me the ball, give me the ball, and he, he puts his hands underneath the guy's gooch. That's oh, like... I thought he puts his face in there to get a signal from the other one. Yeah, that's all you had naked men sitting on like a cold lake, and then their friends come and try to scrape it off before <laughs> the other people or something. <laughs> <laughs> well, you get your sack frozen to the ice, and then you've got a partner yeah. that has to scrape it off. <laughs> yeah, with like, uh, a, a pretty good like an egg flipper spatula. Dude, if you're trying to, like, invent Rob a died? sport in this day and age, you're just screwed, right? Like, no one's ever going to give it any respect. Case in point. Please start a Kickstarter. Slam ball. Slam ball should be the next big American sport. It's basketball plus trampolines. I don't understand okay. how it didn't take off. I, there's only so many times you can break your ankle before you decide it's a bad idea. Yeah, that's pretty sketchy. Yeah, so we I mean, like our injuries. Like gymnasts. <laughs> We like our injuries, you know, to be concealable until you're in your 30s. That's right. Brain injuries only, please. I'm sorry I have returned. Oh, there's no problem, Robert. You know, you're you... sorry you've returned? I'm, well, <laughs> yeah. Oh, I always am. <laughs> but, yes, hello. What did I miss? Uh, you got 14 on the last two holes. Oh, nice. Okay. Puts you a little bit behind the eight ball, but. I think I'll be all right, actually. 
Uh, so, no, no big deal. Oh, oh no. fucker! <laughs> Rob, can you see my hat? Uh, let me look oh, at it. Let's go. Cool. No, because you're not. I can't see your. No, I can't see it on the balls that I'm. Oh on. my god. I got the yellow ball. Uh, yeah, this you're just a yellow ball. Me off. Me. Doc, can you help me? I got the yellow ball. I'm gonna file a complaint about this. <laughs> this is so much harder than it looks. Uh, yeah, this is actually very difficult. I don't know. Eh. Agree to disagree. It's not as hard as Ball 3D. Dude, that game oh, no. is actually like a <gasps> crime. You mean to say the greatest game ever invented? Right. Yeah, we played a lot more of it, and it's better now than ever. It's actually <laughs> substantially worse than it's ever been. <laughs> and now you know everything you need to know about that. Mm, okay. Fair enough. Would you guys play it on Wednesday show or something? No, we played it last night. Mm. Oh, my God. It's really mm -hmm. bad. What, just for fun? Quite good. It's actually, like, bad, though, is the <laughs> thing. <laughs> This thing I don't think anybody's mentioning is that it's a bad game. Oh, that finally freed me from my cosmic prison. I can make a jump on that top of the water there, or is that even water? It's, it's royal icing. Oh. <laughs> oh. It's the bounce off of it. Oh, man. Oh, please. I'm Forgot about as them. good at this as I am at real basketball. <laughs> Kobe. Kobe. They do call you Kobe now. Damn. I was shooting Damn weeks down in Florida, man. It was fun. No, you good shot time. a gun in Florida. I did shoot a gun, and I also shot a couple of hoops. It's a good time. What's your what type of gun was the gun strength? that you shot Fuck with your that. M14? What's that? What kind of gun did you shoot with your M14? Like, which gun did I shoot at? Yeah. Uh, a water pistol. Oh, lame. It probably yeah, broke it, apart like a bitch. It did, yeah. It was a little <laughs> bitch, bitch gun. Stupid gun. Yeah. Stupid bitch gun. Fucking idiot. Not even gun. a real gun. <laughs> Stupid. All in one! Let's go! Yes! That is pretty good, actually. It actually was pretty easy. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> I need to catch up. Oh. Oh my god. Have you ever attended oh. an American football game? No. I have attended a Canadian football game. I have Wait, really? to baseball. Yes. Why? Basketball is the most fun to watch in person. My university had an okay Canadian football team, so in freshman year, I was like, I'm going to have a school of spirit. Then I went to the homecoming game, and I was like, never again. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and there, there's a rule in, in the CFL where you have to have a certain percentage of Canadian players, right? I believe so, yeah. Which is the same as like on your radio too, right? Like you need yeah, Canadian. but I mean, I'm not trying to make you feel bad, but American Soccer League has the same rules so that American soccer I'm, players can I, have jobs. I'm just saying, I was just, I was just asking about the rules. <laughs> I'm, I mean, you're asking with a tone, and that activated my <laughs> my North American just rivalry senses, curious. so I felt the need to respond in a, a defensive repost. <laughs> Fair enough, yeah. Uh, yeah. The NFL should just buy the CFL. I don't think you guys that want Canadian. it. No, we don't. You, you make, like, no money, comparatively. <laughs> Do they not exploit their players the same way, or? <laughs> no, it's just not, a, not as big as <laughs> No, they do. They're just not popular. <laughs> <laughs> I, they just... probably exploit them more because they don't make enough money to do No, it dude, they work, they work one-third less because we only have three downs. <laughs> All right. Yeah, so it's really, it's a pretty cushy job. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's that's fair. Oh, <laughs> I hate this hole. <laughs> mm -hmm. I just find that I should be able really to get creepy. this. It kind of looks like four turds mashed together with eyes. Chad, stop telling me to get my wildfire smoke out of your state, okay? You think it's... Kate and I went out for dinner last night. We left the restaurant. The moon was like the color of a, the red on these candy canes. It was like we were in Bloodborne. It's a freaking nightmare out there right now. No joke. We walked out and we were like, oh, it's a little smoky outside. We looked at the intersection. 
We were at the intersection of Broadway and Ash Street. It was like we accidentally oh. accidentally became extras in like a you know Silent Hill movie or something like that. <laughs> Dude, by the way, maybe unpopular opinion. Okay. First Silent Hill movie. Oh, I, not bad. I, I thought it wasn't bad. I, don't, I hated bad. the Indian though. I say possibly yeah. the best video game adaptation movie that I can think of right now. I kind of agree with you, yeah. Like, there hasn't been really many other good ones. What about Watchmen? Yeah, Resident Evil's kind of shitty. Yeah. You say what about Watchmen? You say what about yeah. Watchmen? <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> what? uh, what's wrong? <laughs> oh, video game knock. <laughs> Oh, oh. I'm sorry. I'm just like I'm so out of it. Yeah, this no humidity is giving me one of them headaches I get, and it's just yeah. loopy. Dude, Tomb Raider like degrees, is Uber. not that good. No, yeah, pretty bad. Although Sir not Jorah Mormont is the bad guy, so like, is he really? He gets some that. credit for that. Someone said Doom, and I know it was a joke, but like also like. That movie's really bad. Ooh, nice shot. I don't remember I it at all, actually. It's yeah, the Street point. Fighter movie's terrible, too. Yeah. Yeah. But terrible in a great way. I, I like, like it in a terrible way, yeah. Yeah, like actually. Mortal Kombat as well. I, I loved that movie when I was a kid. Oh, I'm taking the Fudge bad. River. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't You're seen Warcraft. That's fine. Yep. I haven't seen Warcraft yet, but I hear that it's either okay or terrible. Or a war the voice crime. acting is so I, bad. I'm gonna... I, Personally, I lean more towards the terrible. Which is a but, bummer, because, uh, like, I want to believe in Duncan Jones. Dude Made yeah. Moon, which is an awesome movie. Source code. America runs on Duncan. Good. It's, you know what, it's got, it's got a little bit of that uh, Star Wars prequel fever. A little oh. bit, where it's just like, you know, a little too much CGI makes the world in go around. In my life. Mortal <laughs> yeah. Kombat, the first movie, I like that one, too. Yeah, no, that's uh, that's uh, I, 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 that movie's corny as shit, but I love it. I, I yeah, I mean, it's just like that. a '90s movie. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like it's, '90s movies. So, oh, but in the Doom one, in the Doom movie, you know, instead of fighting demons, they just made it a zombie movie. Just like, yeah, it's pretty demons? shitty. Damn, I forgot there weren't demons. If there weren't, they're like they're they're. I think they're. It's like a demon virus, but it turn basically turns people into zombies. So. Well, they've reinvented the premise of Doom like a hundred times, even though it's always the same couple things. Yeah. It's like, there's Slipgates, and it's Mars Moon, and something hell. Uh, the rest, you fill in the blanks and the details. I'm with Chad oh. on the idea that Max Payne might be the worst video game movie ever made. <laughs> it is... I've never like, seen it. It's bizarre and highly joyless. It, it, like, you know, the Mario movie is really bad, but it's oh silly, so it's, like, yeah, almost more funny, yeah. watchable. But then, like, dude, I'm not messing with you in the least when I say Max Payne is, like, one of the least enjoyable movies ever. <laughs> that I've ever seen, at least. Well, it's the same It's the same thing that happened with, like, comic book movies, you know, before there was the one good one that kind of sparked it off. Right, yeah. Where, where like, every video game movie, like... We have the characters of this video game, but we have completely changed the story and uh, something fucking weird. Like with the Max Payne, isn't it like he has like angel wings and shit? And there's there's, weird there's some there's like a drug sequence in Max yeah. Payne. They chose to focus on that. I think there, there's some yeah. angelic and demonic elements in Max Payne as well that I found highly confusing. But yeah, then Max they, Payne they three, he's he's just like a old grizzled man with slow mo eyes. Yeah. He's not yeah, like he kills a lot. Yeah, he's not like an an archangel sent down from heaven or something like that. I guess the idea was that it, it was a side effect of the drug, but I don't remember at this point. Did that have any like, <laughs> like that invisible mazes you'd have to walk around on? I was also Prince like extremely drunk when I saw it, so some of my memory might not. I wouldn't use me as a reputable witness in a trial. Is all I'm saying. <laughs> I wouldn't uh, use you to put out a fire. <laughs> Prince of Persia movie, meh. Uh, not that great. I don't. I'm not gonna suggest that it's terrible, but I watched it on an airplane and I turned it off. Oh, which is I actually didn't hate it. Just about the lowest review I can give. What about the Hitman movie? I haven't <laughs> seen it. Um, yeah, it's pretty bad. It's pretty bad too. What about Are the there worst any... movie video game? Well, that there's like. 
Wait, I want to know before we move on, is there any other submission for best video game adaptation other than Silent Hill? Or Mortal Kombat 1. Because that feels <laughs> yeah. like a stretch even then. Um... Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Has there ever been like a... It seems like one of those things where there would be like an animated movie based on a game that's good and we're all forgetting. Final Fantasy, but the I liked first it. one was kind of shitty. I, I liked thought. The Spirits Within when I was like 13. And I watched it again when I was like 16 yeah. and I was like, I don't know. I grew out of that. Their whole thing was, look at our CGI effects. They're so great. And now yeah. it's like, well, look at it. I mean, we're in 2017, dog. What about the King Ad of Kong? Advent Children. <laughs> King's Glaive was awesome, but it was more of like a prequel to a game than a, a movie based off of a game. And it's like 100%. Uh, and I actually don't mean this in a negative way, but it's like full fan service, right? Yeah. If we can count like game documentaries, then obviously I would say King of Konga before That's any of them. That's a movie. How about no, Battleship? Yeah, what's the, what's the best? Movie? You know what's hilarious is there actually is a better movie based on a board game than movies based on video games, and it's Clue. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Clue no. is like really good. Clue is so good. Who did it? Well, it depends, you know, when you saw it, right? Oh, Jumanji is not based on a board game. I'm not. <laughs> uh, we have the board game of Jumanji though that they made after. Have the you movie. ever played it? Yes, of course. It sounds spooky, man. It's not. I don't even remember what happens when you like pick up one of the cards that's like, oh, there's a guy. You melt a, into the floor I, and then a bunch of yeah. monkeys come out and they start yelling at you. And then you start, you turn into a monkey yourself. And then Kaiser Soze tries to kill you. <laughs> I said this four times, but does Tron not count? No, Tron was a movie. I'm talking about games to adaptations to movies. Yeah, not reversed. Watch this hot. They action. made a video game of Tron way later. <laughs> And also rebooted Tron as a movie. What about Gamer? What about it? <laughs> it's a bad movie. It's real bad, right? Yeah. That's, that's... I like it. Yeah. yeah that's <laughs> <how it> <laughs> what do you think about it? The, um... You know, the other thing they do with, with video game movies a lot is uh, they. They'll take a, they'll, they're like, yeah, we're going to make a video game movie. But then they'll pick a, a game that is all gameplay and no story. Yeah. And, you know, just so <laughs> that they can make their own story. And it's like, well, you didn't really make a video game movie then. You you, you made just, a theme yeah. around something. <laughs> you used the brand name to get more ticket sales to a thing is what yeah. you did. It's cross promotion. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, Ace Attorney would make a really good movie. It's called The Good Wife. <laughs> yeah, I should probably watch that. If you had to eat a dish based on a Hollywood actor or actress, based exclusively on their name, come up with a better dish than all have the Juliana Margulies, please. Mm. <laughs> beat mm. beat so me. Glass marble. Beat me at my own game here. I will have a grilled cat Dennings. Um, That's maybe the worst. <laughs> it's, it's made of minced cat and uh, jeans uh, and jeans. Yeah, it's cat denims. It's cooked in it's cooked in <laughs> jeans. So I'll boil your finest cat denim. Mm -hmm. I'll have the seared Isla King Fisher. <laughs> you you added a word to her name to make King it an might animal. Be her middle name. I don't know. <laughs> I'll have a spicy George Clooney. See? Mm -hmm. That that seems like a drink. Yeah, it is a drinky name, isn't it? I was going to say a George Clooney on the rocks, but we're talking about dishes George here. Clooney that was Tom has Hanks. been a bit spicy lately. He, like, banned the press from trying to take pictures of his kids through windows now. Well, what an asshole. Yeah. <laughs> sure. they, they are our legal property. We should be allowed How to do whatever he. we want with them. Dude, I lost all respect for George Clooney when he bought that surveillance satellite to spy on Bashir al-Assad. It's like, come on, dude. You want your privacy, but the leader of the Syrian government can't have his? 
I lost all respect when he started talking about, you know, saving the the environment, but he's been like the Nespresso shill for the past 10 years, which is like a huge environmental problem with oh, their, yeah. their little pods that you can't recycle. I lost all respect when he played Batman. Oh, yeah, yeah. me too. You kidding me? Those nipples. <laughs> Or was uh, that William Dafoe? William that's, that's pretty good. It does sound yeah. like a like a Dutch appetizer. No, it's mm -hmm. faux. It's a faux dish. Oh, the <laughs> William Dafo. I see. Well, it should be William Dafo. Yeah. William Dafo. Yeah. yeah. Fuck you, man. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's good. And uh, for my starter, I'll have the Zendaya, please. Um, it won't let me shoot my ball. Hmm. Mm. It's I'm on my Willem, third not stroke. William. Oh, there it goes. It Wait, is who Willem are you, Austin? It's Will Willem. <laughs> Willem. It's not a real name, though. Mm -hmm. What the fuck? They mean William. That's just short for William. Can I have the Zenyatta? <laughs> I don't. I have no idea who Zendaya is, except for the fact that. Her name is Zendaya. I'll, I'll be honest, I knew someone named Zendaya was in Star uh, Spider-Man Homecoming. I didn't know who it was until the credits rolled. On the, but I was, I'll admit, when I saw the lady, I was like, she looks like a Zendaya to me. Hi, Freeze, I'm Batman. <laughs> Fuck. She was on the Disney Channel, dog. I'm 28 years old. I haven't watched the Disney I've... Channel in 14 years. Oh shit, I'll have some Kevin Bacon. <laughs> oh, that's too easy. I know, right? Mmm. He sounds delicious. On a hot Where's day, I like poet? to have a tall glass of Robert Frost. <laughs> the, the poet? From 130 <laughs> years ago? Is that where we're going with this now? Robert Why Frosty not? from Wendy's. <laughs> yeah, they're yeah. only 50 cents right now. <laughs> And Wendy's. You can't There's put those people who are like, oh, the Fiona apple pie. You, it's that's breaking the rules. Give, oh, oh the Danny DeVito quesadilla. No, it has to be just their name. Well, it would have been nice to get a handout of the rule book, Mister. <laughs> what? I mean, I didn't say I'll have the Juliana Margulies angel hair linguini or something. I said, you know, <laughs> I'll have the Juliana Margulies. Oh, oh, oh! Here we go. Kevin Bacon wrapped John Ham. <laughs> That's, adding. Oh, that's adding another celebrity, oh, not yeah. another. Oh word. man. Okay. <laughs> that's pretty good. Just kill me. <laughs> Hoops in a golf yeah, game. Yeah, these freaking marvelies are getting me all over the place. <laughs> you got it. You got it. I believe in you. Yes. I'm eating light. I'll have the Halle Berry. Oh, so that's pretty. And good. I'll follow that up with the John Candy. Ooh, <laughs> nice. not bad. You know what the hoop should have under him is a cylinder or like a, a cone, so that way when you fall under it, it doesn't just leave you right under the thing and you can't shoot again. Mm, yeah. Put a cone achievement under him. Achievement unlocked. Sweet dunk. I also got that achievement. Mm. I'll take the modest um. Yahoo. <laughs> I like that a lot. Friends, uh, unfortunately, I need to attend to a uh, private crisis uh, momentarily. Yeah, uh, by all means. But uh, I, I might be back later. I'm not sure, but I can't. I, I got to go right now. So I uh, right. apologize. Bye. Have fun if I don't come back. Don't die. Bye. Sure. See ya. Uh, no see worries, guys. Robert. Go Bye. ahead. Yeah. I hope his poop is okay. Maybe there's a, a photon accidentally made its way into the <laughs> apartment. <laughs> I think you mean neutrino. <laughs> Mahama Gandhi oh. isn't a celebrity, okay? He's a video game character. Thank you, Pithak. Almost two years. <laughs> the, oh, warden, this isn't... <laughs> the warden is issuing a cell lockdown. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta be there for roll call. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. He just has to stand right outside of his room, and then somebody's gonna walk up and do a click, 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 and then yeah. walk away. Exactly. Well, this is not good. No, no, it's Ew. you're fine. You're fine. This is like Ant Hill 2.0. It is like Ant Hill 2.0. A bowl of Condoleezza rice. Yeah. 
Yeah. Uh, seems too easy, though. Hmm. Fuck. I guess Ooh, if glass. you had to get, like, rice condoleezza, I would say it probably had, like, chicken broth in it or something. Why? Uh, it just sounds like it would have chicken broth. It sounds <laughs> like it would be... Oh, okay. Like, a little meatier. <laughs> Why? Mm. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not saying you're wrong. I'm just <laughs> asking for clarification. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds fancy, and a fancy thing you can do to rice, you put some broth in it. Fancy Maybe is uh, Iggy Azalea. I'm so fancy. Great song. I have an Iggy Azalea. Mm, by, by all means. Oh, my Jesus Christ. <laughs> I've never really? seen you struggle on a hole. It's hole one, too. Like, <laughs> he's done it. Oh, good There's job. The money. I'm gonna savor my first place while it lasts <laughs> for one round. It is funny, Chad. Her name's Azalea and she's from Australia. There's a rhyme for her on the house. My name's Ziggy Azalea. I come from Australia. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's like a first verse right there. Oh, by the way, the name of the. No, no, no. It's by the, the band is the Human Beans. The Human Beans? Yeah, I can't remember the name of this song. Try oh. help me out live live action. I wish I thought of that. Something Nobody name. but me or something no or something like that. Is the name of the song? La Don't try to go I over the ridge on the top or you'll bounce back to the beginning. It got me twice. What kind of hat is that, Nick? Is it a like a minute? The hat now? I can see the hat. It's oh. like a men at work side of, sort of thing. I it's still don't even know how to put hat. the hats on. Go to main menu, customize your ball in the options menu. Oh, man. I ain't getting out of here. Oh, you're in the little ball cup. Yeah. Where's the oh, hole at? I'm in there now, too. Oh, jeez, Louise. It's up there somewhere. Up? <laughs> yeah, we gotta go up between the balls. Oh, this is no good. Nice. Get saved in the pit. Get saved in the... Oh! Oh, I didn't do it hard enough. That will be the end of me. Oh, I see where this filthy hole is. Yeah. Malph, if you could have it's a sandwich vivid. named after you, what would you want on it? Oh, dude. Bologna um, and pickle juice. <laughs> <laughs> um, some kind of like special, like, I don't know, like... Fuck, man, that's a loaded question. I gotta think about well, it's this. It's a loaded question for a loaded sandwich. For a loaded boy. I mean, I might have some, like... How many types ass... of meat do you want on that yeah. bad boy? How many Not sauces? Like... I might do, like, some kind of r nice, slow roast chicken and some type of salami or something. Maybe, like, not too typically seen together, I guess. Have you um... considered having, like, a chicken and banana? I think that's a banono. -no. That's that's a, a Gordon Ramsay joke. Oh, right, because he says banana -no -no, or banono. -no or <sighs> I tried. Sorry. No, continue, continue onwards. I don't, I don't know. Like, I, I definitely make like mouth sauce, which would be something. <laughs> no, okay. You know what? You had your chance to answer this question, dude. You uh -oh. don't just like willy-nilly just like make up a sandwich. I'm worried just that the mouth sauce is gonna come from your willy-nilly. No. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that, you know, what the customer wants? <laughs> I don't know, but it's, yeah, I mean, it's kind of, sauce is very important. Uh, it's gonna have, have a on it. garlic aioli. Ooh, now you're speaking my language. Yeah, that could be good, that could be good. Um, oh, no, 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 oh, here's what I'll do. I'll do like a... It'll be a meatball sandwich for sure, like okay. sliced. I love meatball sandwiches. Yeah. But they're not going to be like whole giant meatballs. They'll be like kind of sliced in half so they at least kind of, you know, stay on the sandwich a bit better. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, that's it so far. Um, it'll well, have my own half meatballs. That's a good idea. Yeah. I've I don't know why they don't do that already. I've never eaten a meatball I sandwich. I feel that too. Well, when you uh, stop your subway boycott, I no almost sandwich. accidentally stopped it yesterday. If you have a really? firehouse subs, uh, those have really good meatball sandwiches too. 
sadly we're sandwich bereft up here. That's but right. like yesterday, Kate came home with Subway, and she was like, "Oh, I didn't know you didn't have lunch, or I would have gotten you something." I'm gonna be honest with you. If she came home with a cold cut combo. I'm probably gonna eat it. No, dude. <laughs> Put it in the fridge and say that's her dinner for tomorrow. <laughs> what? This is like... Oh! <gasps> she's in a prison. Man. Mm. But no. Instead, I just ate a bowl of oatmeal crisp. Basically the same thing. Maybe I'll put bone there on the sandwich. All right. I don't want that. Your sandwich is now $41. <laughs> I will say the, the bone marrow poutine, uh, it was $18. But it was like entree size, like 18? platter size. You can get like a um, ribeye steak for that much. No, it wasn't. It wasn't like a huge poutine, but like they bring it out with a huge, like I think it's a human femur bone. <laughs> what? It's a human. Oh, it's like the body's bone? exhibit. Use it's every part up. of the buffalo. Yeah. Or the I'll, buffalo I'll, will use every part of you. I'll tweet a picture of it in a second so people can see. But it was like. I thought, I honestly thought, like, oh, they just put, like, bone marrow, like, like, drizzle it on top, maybe, or, or there's, like, a ton of it, like, in the gravy, somehow, like, more than would be normal. I, uh, I don't, I don't know. But no, it was a whole bone, sawed in half. <laughs> a human bone. Yep. John Stamos is actually, was, no, way no wonder it was 18 bucks. Bone. <laughs> It was a John Stamos bone. Yeah. Not the He's one you asked for. He's got two legs. <laughs> it's not, it doesn't make you a cannibal to eat human bone marrow. It's only if you eat human meat. Bone marrow is vegetarian. Um... <laughs> no, it's meat. Bone marrow is vegetarian. No. Anything that offers nutritional value from a human. Because if you eat, like, their hair or nails, it's not really cannibalism because they'll still be alive, too. Yeah, was, uh, are toenails meat now? Are boogers meat? If you ate someone else's boogers, are you still a vegetarian? Do they, do they give you nutritional value? What if somebody ate a, a carrot and then you ate the carrot out of their stomach? Oh. Yeah! Now we're talking. Are you a cannibal? Let it stew in there for a little bit, get partially digested. You're eating a bunch of acid, stomach acid and nobody's shit. An nobody's that. answering the question, though, which tells me I'm onto something. I, I don't know yet. I'm not a scientist to know whether or not that protein is I think is that just exclusive. makes you a murderer. <laughs> it might be exclusive to the stomach, or it might not be. I don't know. It's the same thing people try to tell me plankton the isn't vegetarian. They're just animal plants. Yeah, what if you swallow? Does that make you a cannibal? <laughs> mass murderer. Or a mass turbator. Isn't there a point, though, where, like, it, who cares if you're a vegan anymore? Like, I, some things are just too small to matter. <laughs> I I think there is... There's, like, logical extremes for, for vegetarianism and veganism. I would agree with that. I mean, maybe some people are much more inclined to go down that road to like really fight over it, but I don't know that it matters. Personally. I mean, like you, at some point you can, I, the spirit of it, I think is endeavoring to do the least harm possible. But sure. there was like a fly on Kate's arm the other day and she went to <laughs> like wipe it off and just be like, hey, get out of here. She tore his body in half with yeah, like a, do that. a flippant kind of like, like get out of here. Just from the fly's perspective, like a giant came down and just <laughs> tore it asunder. <laughs> All she you wanted to do was get it on Titan. Exactly. <laughs> All she wanted to do was get it to fly off of her arm, but she ended up being a freaking murderer instead. So not a vegan anymore. Exactly. Apparently. There's there's nothing you can do at some point. Like we've been given all these genetic gifts by Charles Darwin, and you know, even if we use them accidentally, it's going to cause some problems. And if the goal is to do no harm, then honestly, swallowing should make you more of a vegan. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Well, the opposite of harm is pleasure, isn't it? So, eh, I think it's actually Mariah. Oh yeah, Mariah Carey. Mariah Carey. All she wants for Christmas is uh, you. To swallow. Well, you know, she's a married woman. Swallow Nick. my cuccino. <laughs> <laughs> Zach and Miri make a porno. 
Hells yeah. You know what I'd really like to see? Mac and Siri make a phono. Um, <laughs> you know, like Apple and then yeah, the, yeah. the voice from yeah. Apple, they make a phono. Mac yeah. and Siri make a phono. Mac oh, and they... Siri make bono. Because Mac is like an apple and then Siri sounds is... sounds more interesting if they bone. Because <laughs> they put you two on the iPods whether you wanted them on there or not. Yeah, exactly. And then they make a phono. <laughs> <laughs> All no. NLSS bits are confusing, but good, bad. Yeah, that seems <laughs> fair. Good, bad. Okay. Just dig your head into the pussy and keep swallowing until she's gone. Oh, <laughs> oh <laughs> I tried that. It doesn't work. <sighs> this little ridge dipper. Oh, my goodness. All right. These are the biggest chains ever, too. Now that's the damn truth. Absolutely. No, you know what you do right. is you go down there and then you start moving your tongue around like it's the alphabet and you just write the script to the B movie. And just start punching. Just punching <laughs> everywhere you can. It'll work for somebody. All right, there you go, chat. I tweeted the bone marrow poutine. You can see the size of the freaking bone. <laughs> it's huge. This used to be a Christian stream. <laughs> it used to be a Mormon stream. Ah, eh, sometimes. Sometimes. For like one segment at moments or another. Dang it. I stroked my hole out. <laughs> Penis. <laughs> now, what was the most recent movie you watched? Um, Say Zootopia. No, it's definitely not. I might have to consult the Netflix Please history. do. Okay. I will look at your bone marrow in the meantime. Sweet. Dude, that is... Okay, I'm going to say many things here. <laughs> that Go bone ahead. is fucking huge. Right? Also... That's what we like to hear. Femur? I was... I, it, it looks like a, a femur. Also, it looks... And, and I was on your side. That's too small for an eighteen dollar portion. Yeah, like the 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 portion size is like, it's it was on the appetizer menu, if I recall, or like something. Dude, like that's that. so small. And I've I've been on here like yelling at people for yelling at me about my like they're like oh nice burger and fries it came with six fries they were wedges. I know those plates. Those are the Kung Lao hat plates, and those are there to purposely disguise the food to be as small as possible. That is... And they put a bunch of shit on the top of it. That's a, I, that's a Gordon yeah. Ramsay like, high-margin appetizer yeah. there. Yep. But, I also should say, it was it was for sharing, and not intended as, like, a main thing, and there's also, you don't really see it, but we got a charcuterie board as well, so... A charcuterie? What is that? It's like a it's chotch. Like a, it's like a you know a wood board and it comes with different meats and bread yeah. and, oh. and did you and that some, sounds did you put the vegetables prosciutto on the poutine or was the put ah. it was the poutine pre prosciuttoed There's no prosciutto there. There's some there's some pink stuff on that poutine. Uh, it's like pickled onions or oh. yeah yeah the charcuterie came with pickled vegetables as well. They had like carrots and and uh, cauliflower pickled onions. Uh, pickled beans. It was good. Good. I like pickled stuff. Look at where this ball landed, Fox. It's halfway off this ledge. Wait, I'm I'm looking. Oh, I can see half your hat. <laughs> You're just peeking down. I'm just peeking it, peeking it out. Here I come. Get Listen over it, Chad. We say cauliflower, okay? Those hats really give you a good personality. I know mm -hmm. in America they say. Cauliflower. Cola? I don't know about that. I call it cauliflower. Yeah, it's like cola versus cali. Khaleesi. Ah, a cali. Who do you think is gonna eat Khaleesi's flower? Jon Snow. Jon Snow. No spoilers, please. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that was a, a loaded question. <laughs> Little finger. Oh, that's a, I'll give you I'll give you some long odds on that one. He's only got eyes for one lady. 
and they're creepy, and they're She's always dead. pointing at Sansa. Do they ever explain why they call him Littlefinger? Because, like, Cause I'm just going to be honest. Yeah, I want to see his hands. It's because he wears a pinky ring, and he commands people to do things. He wears a pinky ring? I don't know. It's just what I decided. I don't like him already. <laughs> I think he explains it in one of their most recent episodes. I don't know. He's from the Fingers. Oh, oh. the Finger Isles. Oh, he He's grew up finger. in the Fingers. Okay. Oh. Interesting. Sort of. Oh. Oh, it's because he has a tiny dick. I should have known. How do you know, Nick? Well, chat just told me. How do they know? comes from I've a place called the Fingers. How do you Get know? over the humpity lump, come on! Yeah, we've done all the good ones today. We've got Game of Thrones talk, we got comic talk. Food talk. Uh, food talk. Any good uh, airplane stories around it? We talked out? about jizz. Yeah. So. It's been a day. Hmm. That's about it, really. That's why I'm, I'm trying to get Malf to save us with his most recent movie. Oh, shit. Enjoy. Yeah, brother. Uh, hold on here. What do we got? No doing pillow act talk. Doing activity. Let's give him something to oh, talk about. Oh, uh, get hard. I watched that again. Again? Yeah, man. So it's been a few hard. months. <laughs> You've seen get hard twice? Yeah. Will Ferrell, Kevin Hart. I'm know? aware of who's in the movie. Well, it's, hard at the end. <laughs> it's okay for those that are unaware it's uh will ferrell plays like this you know financial trader kind of dude warren buffett motherfucker um <laughs> and then he gets he gets uh well i don't want to spoil it but basically <laughs> he gets hard yeah he gets <laughs> he's it's uh right there in you the know title. he's caught for like fraud and then uh Supposedly, even though he's like, I didn't do it, and then uh, he's Can gonna I go ask to you prison. a question. Yeah. Does his boss, who's a jerk, do the fraud and then pin it on Will Ferrell as a patsy? Yeah. Oh, yeah. What is messed Terrible up movie. is that his his boss is also his his stepfather. Can I ask you a question? Is yes. his boss played by the guy who was coach? And in Poltergeist. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, I know what guy you're talking about. Yeah, I don't know his name. I'm bad with names. Terry Bradshaw. Nope. <laughs> I watched I The Gamer's think. Dorkness Rising. What is The Gamer's <laughs> Dorkness Rising? Oh. It's a movie about a bunch of friends that play a D&D &D game. Oh. And, like, it, like, real life depicts their D&D &D game while they're playing it, kind of. Okay. But it's shittily done. I thought that's so, all right. podcast. Oh, these bongos, dude. These that, dinosaur eggs. That are we in Dragonstone awesome. right now? This is Dragonstone right here. You can tell by the colorful Easter eggs. Yeah. It's also a bright green Cheerio being trapped in a cage by the oh, geez. flag. That's an oh, Applejack. no, it's a donut. It's a donut. That's literally fun with Dick and Jane's plot. Yeah. What? The the, the get the, hard plot. The one? Yeah. Well, and then so Kevin Hart is like this car wash guy, but he's he's you know, Will Ferrell cuz he's like, "Oh, you're black. You've been to prison." He's like, "Well, you <laughs> Oh, wow. Me. So Will it, Ferrell like, plays a, a raging racist in this movie. He's more like he's just like super oblivious, I think. Um but yeah. He, uh, and he's like, I'll pay you to, like, teach me how to survive in prison, because the judge makes an example of him. He's like, you're going to maximum security for ten years, and he's like, oh, fuck. At least he didn't get sentenced to one year hard marriage. Well, he was married er, to, uh, what's her name? Bree. Larson. Allison Bree. Allison Bree. Yeah. I thought maximum security is just for violent criminals. Well, I, uh, this takes no. place in an alternate reality where Bernie Sanders won the 2016 election. <laughs> oh, God. Will Ferrell's honestly lucky he didn't get chopped in half with a guillotine on the steps of the Lincoln Memorial. 
<laughs> so a weird way to turn that around, but all right. We're gonna be back to play. Do we have anybody for Pintorio? Three person Pintorio is like a nightmare. You mean four people? Where's the geese? We squeeze. <laughs> oh right, hey mouth. We had Rob, but he left because shit happened. Yeah. I'm so excited for Pintorio. I mean, we have four. We'll do Pintorio. Hopefully, we can It'll get another fine. one. It'll be fine. Just more, more mouth. More drawing for us. Yeah. More drawing okay. for us. See you in three minutes. Boop. I think you're a cat purring. But do they ever get hard in the movie? Um, I mean, he does have sex at the beginning. So I imagine his wife or his fiance. Yeah, they take her away pretty quick, don't they? Why is it not? Loading? She takes herself away. Can Does you shove, shove it please? in her face just like you did to me? That's a... Uh, but can you take it all away? away. When he's shoving my fist. <laughs> it's a good time. Why is it just Explain like... Explain the game to me. <laughs> it's just to... spinning in a circle. Yeah, mine's oh, just spinning yeah. as well. Sometimes Pintorio gets uh, broken. I will oh, no. It's also Pintorio2.com. Yes. Spinny, spinny, so spinny. So he has sex with his wife at the start of the movie? Yeah, morning. So she doesn't like it. It's kind of like Breaking Bad then. It's like the There's whole white plot guy. of Breaking Bad in an hour and a half. So white guy, he gets accused of a crime he didn't commit. He has sex with his wife. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Where I'm does the you. movie take place? Ooh. I actually don't know. America? Is it a desert? Yeah, it's definitely America. It's America? It's Breaking Bad, dude. They got me. That show really set off like a a cultural tsunami of of copycats. All right, I'm gonna let this yeah. thing spin for a while, and then we'll. I'm gonna eat a granola bar. And when I come, and back I'm gonna cry see, myself to sleep. See what the heck we're gonna do for Seggers three. All right, I'm just gonna add the source. <laughs> Let's play more Fortnite. Yeah. <laughs> uh. Wah, wah. Gone Girl is fucked up, but it's super good. It's all right. I don't. Ben Affleck just for me, man, just a disappointment in life. I liked him in Dogma, and oh, I liked him oh. in Paycheck. What about Phantoms? He's the bomb in Phantoms. I don't think I've seen Phantoms. Really? It's actually quite awesome. I need to level my Summoner's Wars up. Use my energy, damn it. It's a free time life sucker. Nick will love it. I've been finishing up Make More. I'm at the final stage of that now. It's been in the making for about a year. So, oh, man. Yeah, the end is near. You're making Roger Moore? It's a, it's a sweatshop game where you hire factory oh. workers and then you tap on them to make them make objects. And you fill up a bar, and eventually when the bar is done, you get to start over and buy a new factory. And I'm on my, I think, 10th cycle of that. So this is the end of the game now. I can't wait to see what happens when I get the final trophy. It's going to be like, you win. and It's going to be like, do you want to start over again? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it should show how many hours you could have been doing something else. Now make more. Why is this just like broken? Maybe their servers are just down. Dang, Lisa's flight got canceled and the hotels are all $400. So she has to fly to Charlotte and stay there until oh. 9 a.m. That sounds awful. What the hell? Is everybody else still spinning as well? Still yeah. Spinning. We're still spinning. Yep. Yeah. That's a problem. <clears throat> hmm. Yeah. Well, let's take some uh, suggestions from chat. Yeah, chat. What do you got? <laughs> a 
Let's all play Final Fantasy XIV for an hour and get to level five. Golden Eye. Ooh. You guys want to start a guild with me? You could join I Kate's guild if you want. Does she play? She plays a lot of Final Fantasy XIV. Um, I've actually been contemplating picking that up. I miss MMO grinding. Don't do it. You're gonna have to oh, save me. <laughs> Hold me back. We're not gonna play GeoGuessr. <laughs> How would that work anyway with four people? You can do shared seeds. GeoGuessr, I feel like I'm like the CEO of Fox and I'm being lied to by the audience. They're like, can't oh, tell me what to do. Nobody watched GeoGuessr on YouTube. And you come over to Twitch, it's like 99% of people want to see GeoGuessr. It's like green light in the second season of Firefly. I mean, people wanted that. Yeah, but it when it comes on, people are like, oh, I'm not going to watch it. It's like a sequel to Zoolander. You're still hurting me right now. They did make a sequel to Zoolander. That's what I mean, and it sucked, and nobody saw it. <laughs> Family Freud. Yeah? Four, uh, I don't have it, actually. Four-person quiplash. I'm thinking so hard right now. Four there was a little bomber I... game we used to play sometimes. There's worms. I did suggest Spelunky earlier, but Cobalt doesn't have it. I have Spelunky. Who doesn't See, have Spelunky? See, Ryan, I told you. <laughs> I didn't say he doesn't have Spelunky. You said Spelunky, and I said, don't make me laugh. Yeah. <laughs> <It's> all <laughs> I mean, if everybody wants to play Brawl Hall, we can play Brawl Hall. Oh, I don't have Spelunky uh, on here. Ooh. I oh, I do, I do, I do, I do, I do, I do. I didn't say that in the first place. <laughs> <laughs> Let's all just end early and go meet up in Vegas. No, I hate it. You want okay, to want a little bit. End early and meet in Toronto. We can go see yeah. a show. No, I hate Come it. Come to my place. We can watch go. them do flips in the air. Get some we bone end 40 we minutes can... early, we'll have time to go to Fox's place. I don't, I don't just because I show up late doesn't mean I quit early, okay? <laughs> what about, um, all right, I'm going to throw out, I'm going to throw out some suggestions here. I'm going to make, you start coming up with a backup game? I'm going to make an easy straw pool here. I'm going to put some stuff on it. What should we play? I'm going to throw some worms on there. I'm going to throw... You know, uh, some uh, gaspionage on there. Oh, Rocket League, some... we could rumble. I... Oh, we vowed never to play that again. Yeah. Oh, 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 okay. Sorry. People are far too good at it now. You know what? Because I love you and hate myself, I'll put Ball 3D on there. Although I'm a little worried 2v2 Ball 3D is a little... Bear said Solo with Sin was fun, so maybe 2v2 is fun too. Yeah, but... <laughs> Bear thinks that Darkest Dungeon is fun, so I don't. It is it. fun. <laughs> um, I want to put some more stuff on here as well. I'm not putting GeoGuessr on there, okay? How about we all leave and you finish until dawn? That would be fun. No, because then I'm betraying <laughs> all the people who were waiting until Sunday to see it. Yeah, I know. They deserve it though. Cobalt doesn't have Goldeneye yet, and it does take a little while to install, so I'm going to leave that yeah, off. Yeah, I need like a 30 minutes heads up for that. Oh, man. You played Quiplash on Monday, so I'm keeping that off. Malf doesn't own Benjamin and Edgemin, so... I mean, I cards don't. Against humanity. I kind of hate it. Okay, yeah, fair no, enough. I've been advocating that all the time. Because right? I'm old yeah. enough to make my own jokes. So the joke Lego just makes me angry. Welcome to making yeah, a docket doc chat. This yeah, is exactly. <laughs> Google Feud just lies to us. So, you know, fill in the blanks. Cheddar cheese, and then the first one is like foot cream. Oh, fuck you, I have been in it. You, you do can it? play Spelunky online with each other now. Uh, via a mod, I guess. Oh, there's a mod? Yeah, there's a mod. I couldn't get it to work, but Bear does. Right. Bear knows how to do it. I'll put Ben and Ed Blood Party up there. Cause we should play Blood and it. Bacon. I don't own that. but It's 99 cents, I think. Okay, I have I have created the poll. There you go. New it's poll available. Terrible. Vote now. Well, 
Well, it's a good time to check your Twitch primes, I guess. <laughs> fiddle your fiddle. Don't do, we don't deserve it today. Let's play okay. PUBG. Come on, Nick. Nick can guitar for us. <laughs> go play Hollow Knight. That's fine. <laughs> no. I like when Nick plays because he's the true voice of reason Nick, in our if insanity. If you were to play, what? I'll drive around on a why? bike with you. Why? Why? Does this we'll do happen? sweet flips. C bus. Thanks for the Twitch Prime. <laughs> You can shoot me in the head. I didn't even bring it up. <laughs> oh, new patch. It looks like Ben and Ed is going to win. It's at 34%. Gespionage is at 28. Worms is at 21. I hate Ben and Ed. <laughs> wow. Well, uh... All right, all right, all right. What if we go number two then? Everyone, everyone has exercised the veto of some sort. And then uh, we'll play some Gespionage instead. I veto it. You're going to veto Gespionage? <laughs> <laughs> no, what's, third, what's the third no. one? Worms is third. I'm just oh, joking. Worms. It's a let's I'd do rather, Gespionage. I'd let's, rather do Gespionage than Worms. All right, let's do some Gespionage. That's fine. Worms is Wait, fine. I... It's just, like, so slow. Uh... It's a banter seggers for sure. Wait, so I gotta go to Jackbox, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Watch this doesn't work either. No, Jackbox always works. They work in their own janky way. This is democracy. The second best answer wins. LOL. <laughs> Holds up, Spork. Holds up ballot. Wait. Okay. Captain Foxy Foo brings up a good point. Wasn't yeah. Ryan supposed to get a custom Brawlhalla skin? Yep. Uh, unfortunately, despite being terrible, I won the tournament and was granted extra work as a result. So I'm still... Uh, that's, Wait, that's... didn't you just have to tell them what you wanted? Yeah, but I also don't want to ruin their whole aesthetic by being like, hey, put a bald egg with glasses on Scarlet. Jesus. <laughs> if you want it, Nick, feel free to take your custom Brawlhalla skin. Oh, it's just up for grabs. Anybody can have it. I would welcome it. This, I mean, it was a promotional thing anyway. So. Sure thing. All right, I'll have password. it. Brian. Your name is your password. Well, yeah, but it's spelled B R I O N. Are you serious? Here you that go. That can be hacked in eleven nanoseconds. Uppercase N. There is your code. Uppercase E. Smiley face. Frowny face. That was a long time ago. It really was a long time ago. Dude, Gold Goldman's coming to Brawlhalla now. That's confirmed. I don't even think he, look all, he wouldn't even look all that weird with the rest of the cast of characters. Give him a katana? No weirder than usual, anyway. I had dinner with Brawlhalla Man at PAX last year or two so years ago. Calling? So we're like completely, we're copacetic. You guys are practically best friends. We're pretty cool with each other. I love Brawlhalla too. We should do that sometime again. I am okay with that game. I mean, ball, man. I, did I just win like the, the different modes. So, uh, my phone crashed on the Jackbox lobby. Uh-oh. Are they gonna let oh. me read? No, now there's two Northern Lions in here. Um, nice. Sure, you know, why not, dude? Unfortunately, I can't hit everybody's in, so I gotta start another server. Alrighty. Well, it's been an interesting day. Dude, you're telling me. I've had a really shitty week, actually. My dog got put down yesterday. I saw Lisa's that. out of town. Oh, sorry, man. My condolences. Dude. Yeah. She did the right decision, though. It's tough, uh, though. It... To the owner of the yeah, it's Florida, pretty Florida, tough. You have been really and then Lisa's flight just got delayed today, and she's stuck in a different city right now. So it's like, damn, son. That's why we put airlines on blast in every single NLSS episode. It's because, honestly, they get away with too much. They do. They're just like, well, we're the airline. We can do whatever we want. Oh, we got a flight from Philadelphia to Los Angeles. When will we leave? Oh, whenever we want. How much are the tickets? A million dollars. Oh, my God. I... <laughs> oh, we need one more. Uh, there's a new code in the in the, in the the Discord, Cobalt. Yeah, the little uh, Pomeranian. Let me check this code out here. That wasn't the code, the gate. That was the old code. That doesn't matter anymore. Um, yeah, I 
I'm being the weird dog robot pirate. I'm gonna be an eagle today. I'm Dr. Fox. I'm me Rock with- flag and eagle! Me with the- That's, that's Jack the Black. Mask on. It did sound like Jack Black, but it wasn't. It was Charlie. Aren't they making a Get yeah. Hard 2? I would hope so, honestly, they could. I bet an really liked it that game. much. I thought it was super cliche and like... I don't know. It, I thought I that was one was of those well movies. Done. Like, it, it was received as mediocre, but made like $300 trillion. Hmm. Now, is Will Ferrell and Kevin Hart... Like, you know... What could go wrong? <laughs> what could go wrong? <laughs> it's a stupid movie, but... Kevin Hart annoys the shit. I mean, I like Will Ferrell. Now, if you gotta answer this question... Oh, okay, he's got it, he's got it, he's got it. Everyone else not act alone turn. in the assassination of JFK. Ryan. What do you mean, Ryan? I think, we know. I think we know who the oh, other man. party was. Do you believe... This is a real NLSS question. Do you oh, believe that's a tough one. any conspiracy theory? Okay, right answer is... Yep. Here, okay, I... Cobalt. What conspiracy theory do you believe, Cobalt? Man, it's a pretty controversial one. Okay. It, I think <laughs> don't let it, don't let us pressure you if you don't want to. I'm pretty sure that 9/11 wasn't done by terrorists okay. alone, and that our government had some uh, play in it. Okay, I disagree with you, but I'm I don't know enough to back that up at all. I've seen way too many conspiracy documentaries. Nick, would you I like to weigh in? Used to believe what Cobalt believed, and then stop believing that. Okay. Maybe I should get, you read gave whatever up. you read. It was there was too much talk about steel beams melting, and then people came around to the whole thing. Real uh, steel beams, thermite. I don't but remember. Could... Yeah, I don't remember anymore what it was that changed my mind, but it just it felt like I was way too paranoid, and then I kind of saw clarity. Maybe that's what I, I'm hoping. That's what I am. <laughs> Mouth, do you have one? Conspiracy theory. Yeah. Um, originally, let me think. Yeah, this is a perfect uh, background game, by the way, because you cannot look at it at all and still play it. Correct, yes. <laughs> what 11% of people have older relatives who forward jokes via email? Liars, check your emails, motherfuckers. <laughs> that is crazy talk. Apparently, Jackbox is 404 ing as well here, but oh my god, wow. I don't know, I'm still pretty sure the Earth is flat. Okay, that's just ridiculous, though. <laughs> Honestly, I don't really... Nothing comes to my mind, at okay. least. I'm like... What about every premise for every World War we've ever had? I'm pretty sure those are real. What do you mean, premise? Uh, not, like... You don't get the full... I mean, some of it was forced in other ways that aren't publicized, really. I don't know. I, maybe I'm like the biggest conspiracist here. <laughs> oh, is that is that a word? Conspiracist? It, it wouldn't be hard because like I don't I don't think I believe in any of them. But I, you know, try me basically. The JFK one, I actually just don't know enough about it to know whether or not the angle on the grassy knoll or whatever. It was a, basically the bullet had to have curved to hit him, is what they were saying from the the point at which. They found him, so there would have had to have been a second shooter, oh. is what they were saying. Or it could have just been James McAvoy. Magic bullet theory. <laughs> yeah, it could have been James it, McAvoy. It was Ted Cruz's father. That shot John F. Kennedy? That shot JFK. I don't believe that Ted Cruz's father shot John F. Okay, Kennedy. Okay, me either, but it's real funny anyway for some reason. That's like a crossover episode. I, w I don't buy it. It's, it's, <laughs> it doesn't make sense. I definitely do not think there are aliens at Area 51. I wanted to believe that when I was a kid. Now I'm pretty sure that we would have known about that by now if there were. Um. Oh, the Zodiac Killer. No, not Ted Cruz himself. It's Ted Cruz's yeah, father. Ted, that Ted shot Cruz you. as a as a four year old. <laughs> 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 that would have been a whole different story. I would have liked to hear that too. Weeks or months. 
Jeez, I don't know, man. Like, chat, give me some... Yeah, they're at Area 52, where you'd never look for them. Chat, give me some conspiracy theories. I had a really impassioned argument with my freshman year roommate about the moon landing. Oh, yeah. It, he basically... Yeah, the moon landing. He thinks he's an astronaut. So I was just like, I don't know if they did it, or <laughs> it's... no uh, wind on the moon, the flag was blowing. Well, I was like, I don't know if they did it, or they didn't do it. And he's like, you don't understand. The sum total of energy required to fake the moon landing is greater than the amount of energy required to get a rocket to the moon. And, like, we didn't talk to each other for, like, two days after this. I'm not you saying I have a green screen. Like, <laughs> I'm not saying I was right. I was just saying, I don't know enough about it to know whether they did or not. And he was, he took a lot of offense. Very adamant. It. And I think he's probably right to begin with. That it was a little bit of an ignorant argument on my part. How does Fabric react to being in zero gravity? And it's also not zero gravity because you're on the surface of the moon. Right? Isn't there the smallest bit? Because otherwise you'd float right back away. But it just seems like they're going to come out with footage of a fake moon landing and be like, I just can't shake the feeling that we forgot something. Oh, the flag is flapping in the wind. I love this. They hired Kubrick to fake the moon landing, but he's such a perfectionist. He actually sent people to the moon. <laughs> How would They would have to have like a big-ass fan blowing to fake the wind, too. They would have had to put thought into doing that. Like... Oh, man. Um... Well, there's another one that's good. It is, uh... They said they went to the moon, but the footage was bad, so when they came back to Earth, they made higher quality footage to use. <laughs> Which, I don't, you know... Again, I that's wasn't there. Though. It's just a funny idea. Next up. I you know, there's that that conspiracy theory that we're all made from pots of clay, and that what? every th every thirteen thousand years, that a, a reptile species on planet X uh, circles within range of our oh. uh, planet, and they come down and like enslave us and stuff. I asked for conspiracy theories, though. Yeah, not is that not not <laughs> provable facts. <laughs> I've got them on video. I've been waiting for the next one. I, I got my uh, shelter all prepped. I got. What do y'all think? Higher or lower? I hate the theory, and it's not a theory. I hate the stupid joke that Finland doesn't exist. Shit makes me so mad. It's Sea World that doesn't exist. They have a proud history, and they're, you know, Japan made up Finland. <laughs> I'm I'm making a joke that an entire civilization doesn't exist. You mad, bro? I'm not actually <laughs> upset. I'm just like, just it irritates me. If someone did that about America, there would be like, there'd be bodies in the streets. People would be losing their minds. I think we've lost a lot of respect for ourselves lately. Yeah. So it's okay. We're working on it. It's a work in progress. Why don't you guys, let's all pitch in money and we'll just build like a little communal cottage thingy out in the woods somewhere. I love my country, you know, of course. But, uh, yeah. The Katy Perry... goes really badly, we could all just leave. I, I would never live with you. And that goes, yeah. that goes for all of you. I'm, I'm moving I, there. Let's go. No, that definitely goes for me with Ryan. Fuck yeah, you. I would not. We're better off apart. It's like yeah. lithium and oxygen, dude. It's better to keep us separate. Otherwise, we're gonna burn the whole place down. Around you? <laughs> well, yes, but <laughs> I wouldn't necessarily <laughs> recommend it, to be honest. Uh, instead of quarter to or quarter of, what percentage of people say it's quarter till when it's 15 minutes before the hour? What? Running out of time. I don't yeah, even I know. read that a couple click, of times. I'm just gonna click one and hope I win. <laughs> just like a standardized test. 29%. I would absolutely... I would... Once I'm done with this Twitch thing, I never want to see any of you again. Nice. <laughs> Not you, Cobalt. Except for you. Oh. <laughs> You're invited to special occasions, but everyone else, it's like a, a Braun and Cersei situation. Yeah, Braun and Cersei situation. It's like... We've been so intimate with one another 
that we should hide from one another. We know our deepest, darkest secrets and fetishes and <laughs> oh, man. food preferences and, you know, inner neurological workings. Yeah, we should have stopped before we said all those things. I know, but it's so addictive to to reveal your true self to the internet. Going high on this one, boys. Not LeBron. Like, I wouldn't send my food back if I wasn't satisfied with it, just because, unless it was like really bad. If I'm just like, oh, they got my temperature wrong. Like, I'm like, all right, whatever. I mean, we've been through this enough times that people already know this about me, but I have gotten the wrong entree and just never said anything. Yep. It, yep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Where's the soup? Yeah. It's like a surprise. It's like, oh, I didn't want this before, but all right. Yeah, like, you know, the universe is going to give me this I dish mean, then. Does it really matter? It's all going to end up as poop eventually. It's all carbon. We're all food for worms, man. I mean, it's like you have to commit well, then why don't we all just eat oatmeal every day? I wish, dude. It doesn't matter. We'll just eat oats. Any the basic necessities to stay alive. Why even enjoy food? It's just matter going into your body. I don't think I've ever enjoyed oatmeal, but I've eaten a lot of it. It's good for you. Thank you, nibwobbles. Do people what consider to be their best physical feature? Butt, hair, breasts, smile, beard, legs, penis, eyes, face. I mean, one of them is just a dead giveaway. This was actually just the name of Hugh Grant's character from Cloud Atlas. I feel like if you pick a gender-specific thing like breasts, then you're if you're ruling out like all the other people. You know, <laughs> I'm saying. Who's gonna say penis though? As much as they want to, they're not gonna say it. <laughs> I say penis all the time. Well, but if your penis is your best feature, that kind of sucks, right? Yeah, I stay no, cool no. penis all the time, too. If you get a dick pic out there, it could be the best thing for you. Yeah, because it usually does help your life. A dick general. pic has never been the best thing for anybody. Except for Anthony. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. Worked out well for Anthony Hopkins. Anthony Hopkins is a dick pic? What's well, now Anthony's? Sir Anthony Hopkins well, like, because of it. Anthony Foreskins. <laughs> You telling me the queen saw his dick and thought it was so good he needed to be knighted? <laughs> <laughs> I expect some dick pics of myself to arise one day, and when they do, I expect people to be impressed. <laughs> she plopped that sword on his shoulder, and then later that night, he <laughs> <laughs> plopped that sword. That thing got around in my younger years, okay? Hey, did, it, did I win? You did win. Hells yeah, brother. You know we're living in the minus realm because Malf just won a Jackbox game. Remember the time I joined Quiplash and then I won two in a row? I do remember that, yeah. No problem. Nope. He's doing us a favor, no problem. <laughs> You're welcome for beating you. Would you rather have the world's best face or the world's best dick? What oh man. The uh, probably. As as I mean, you could be exclusive. You could be in porn, and you could be like the bag face guy. You, know? <laughs> you wear a burlap sack. Be fine. Like, I always wonder where that guy came from. The bag face guy. <laughs> uh, I would say. Uh, does this map fifty-fifty? Okay. If you're a lady, does this also mean like the world's best vagina? I'm gonna be honest with you. I, I think having the world's best vagina doesn't matter. Bag face also works in this situation. Unless you're going from like a spike covered situation to like a good one. I'm pretty sure it's like a six of one, half a dozen of the other situation. But what like, other, uh, what could be the best case besides being in porn? Well, I mean, what is the best case for a vagina? I think we've got that ham sandwich tweet, basically. Oh, you're going for, like, attractiveness. I was going from, like, a functional standpoint. I, I don't know what best oh, means in this case yeah. at all. Is the best vagina the one that makes you come the fastest? Or the one that makes you come the most? Yeah, because people have different preferences, but you could say that about people's faces, too, I guess, but... I don't know. Well, some people choose manually to get a spike-covered vagina. They get piercings yeah. all over the thing. Some people seal it up. Yeah, dude. And honestly, oh, yeah, put the holes and stitch it together. I support that. Real weird. Keep cringe, that, cringe, keep, cringe. Keep that bad boy locked away. Tie it up with a ribbon. Give it away as a Christmas present. 
Tie it up with piano wire if you want. <laughs> Whatever floats yes. your boat. You're almost out of time. What percentage of people consider themselves turtleneck people? Oh man. Everyone pick. One hundred percent. You can't. Higher. You can't be bald and wear a turtleneck. It's, it's weird. Yes, you can. You can't. Prove me wrong. <laughs> Put on a toupee. <laughs> <They'll never know. laughs> bald turtleneck does not work. I don't know what it is. Bald you sweater can be, like, in general. Is partially tough. bald though, and, and pull off a turtleneck. Yeah, if you got a horseshoe, you can rock a turtleneck. Definitely confirmed. Okay, who's up next? I've never heard of it referred to as a horseshoe. Ooh, well, you know, the Costanza. Yeah, oh, I mean, it's perfect for explaining it. The Gregor Mendel. What percentage of people have oh, used bidets? Oh, that's a perfect question. What percentage of people have used bidets? Real talk, though, if you guys went bald, are you going to go Vin Diesel or George Costanza? But imagine to neutralize I'm gonna go it, imagine, the hat. imagine George Costanza is fucking ripped though my head Wait, is, is not? not attractive bald it's it's Same. like oddly shaped i'm guessing how do I you get a bump though? on the back here i got a bump on the back of my head too i got a bump i got like two moles i got like a little yeah, a triangle bolt. peak on the top of my head mm. please let me i don't notice it yeah uh, exactly man to look down from above. I'm worried that the, the little bump on the back would cast a shadow. What? You're right. <laughs> if I'm walking under lights, it would cast a shadow underneath. That would be weird. I also have a fight in the shade. on my head. You have a birthmark on your head. It like, makes my it made my hair blonde when I was younger in that spot, but now we it's talk, silver we talk because Cindy I'm Cindy Crawford, or are we talking like Mikhail Gorbachev? It's like in the back of my head. To the right a little bit, like um, right above my neck. And when it's, I mean, yeah, people are like, "You're going gray here." And I'm like, mm -hmm. "That's actually where my birthmark is. It used to be blonde." Mouth, you got any grabies yet? Uh, in my facial hair on yeah. my right side. Say, I just started to get some in the chinular region. My chin. Yeah, my chin is, too. I got like the, the strands of red, Ooh. red in the chin. Yeah. Yeah. It's exotic, yeah, right? Viking ancestry. Yeah, I got that Red too. One. Yeah, Danish baby. If you uh, oh, if you shave off like the ends when it's really short and you hold it in your hand, it looks like you got allspice. <laughs> Ooh, just a few percentage points off. Well done. <laughs> Can we compare everything to spices and herbs? Yeah. Yes, on that one. I left something <laughs> in the toilet today that looked a little bit like garam masala. <laughs> <laughs> What do you mean 18% of you have been to a nude beach? That is a straight yeah, up lie. Bullshit. I don't buy it. That's who voted to say they have the best dick. <laughs> Damn it, I lost on that question. Who's Gary Masala? <laughs> I felt ripped off. You know, you, you look at an Indian res or a recipe and it goes, use uh, garam masala for this. It's a special spice. You know what garam masala means? All spices. What percentage of people have done the chili it's like chili powder. Receptions. Chili powder is an amalgam of spices. I love Cajun spices. Oh. So. A Dude, my yeah, French fries. Good. French fries good. I like the Cajun Cajun turkey or Cajun chicken breast, like deli. Yeah. That's what would I would have had a spicy Cajun mayo and steak on my personal sandwich with some caramelized onions. I'm going to raise a bit of a controversial opinion. I don't it, I don't dislike it, but my ideal sandwich does not have steak on it because the texture leads yeah. to you pulling full pieces of steak out of the sandwich. Exactly. Yeah, I don't like ha yeah. I don't like having to chew those like, I like chew the texture, bits separate though. of the other bread and stuff. If it's, you're real good at ripping it, you can tear it with the steak too. I mean, you, but you're running the gamble, right? If you're gripping yeah. really hard and then you pull with your teeth, you could pull like even more out. I'm just picky about what kind of steak sandwich it is. Uh, you gotta I make sure you got get a good teeth. one that's tender. I got Chili my tooth back. Steak? I want to chew it all. I want to chew everything. Tough steak for those sucks. What percentage of people regularly wear Pork tenderloin would be good on a sandwich. Yeah. Oh. I'm gonna marinate the pork tenderloin and. Also, that's why you get really thin-cut steak. You don't I'm, have that problem. Though. I'm with you, but all other meats just... You know, my ideal sandwich is like a seared tuna. It just, like, 
shears off no matter like yeah. it, it, when your lips touch it it's just like make a laser cut right here get a perfect cross section that's too uh too ready to go like i want i want to put a little effort into it yeah save your stomach the the hard work and you know have your mouth kind of like pre-cook it a little bit i understand it's just that the idea of using anything with my lips to like tear it apart is creepy to me I refuse to believe that more than a third of people wear ba baseball caps in public <laughs> backwards. Oh, I didn't vote in time. And what did the audience say? I do like a good tuna melt. Oh. Mm. I like turkey, bacon, ham with cheddar on like a croissant. Let's see who got it right. Hold I the like ranch. toasted croissant. Uh, maybe like a little bit of honey mustard. Has anyone on the show had an authentic Philly cheesesteak? I have. I've been to Philly. I have not. Like, I guess if technically, then no. Yeah. I believe I don't really authentic like means you've been to Philly and had one in the city of Philly. Yeah, I, I've no. had one in my hometown, but I don't trust it. What percentage of adults have played Truth or Dare? Uh, <laughs> it was good. I had no problem with it. I would eat it again. Oh yeah, Philly cheesesteak is delicious. Doesn't I it... hate the ones from Subway. Philly cheesesteaks use Amer like melted American cheese, right? Okay. Yeah. No, cheese whiz. They use cheese whiz? It's like nacho but, cheese. Um, and then melty. some people say like you're supposed to have, or is it provolone? And other people say that's sacrilege. Mm. Um, it's hard to keep up with, like, but that's like the big thing is like the lower. cheese that they use. <sighs> See, to answer this question, you have to be 30. Yeah, and... I'm, which is why I'm, I don't put a lot of faith in this answer. Oh, 20%. God damn it. <laughs> what did I write? 22 or something? Yeah, 18. So All right, that's pretty you're, close. You're right in there. I'm mad about it, though. How do you end up playing a game of Truth or Dare after you're 30? People come yeah. over, you go to a bar, you come back with some friends, and then everybody gets a little tipsy, and then you, gotta you never be know what single. happens. I, I thought maybe you were playing it well, with, like, high school seniors. No, single or open-minded. <laughs> You're their college professor. Probably playing it with Rachel Green and, and uh, mm. Monica Geller and right, Joey yeah. Tribbioni. Yeah. How old were they supposed to be in Friends? Uh, they were actually 63 in the final season. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> uh, brunch? What? what? I don't buy what this. What is this? Anybody... I'll give you like four percent have not eaten brunch, and then I built I built in a six percent troll factor because I know I know people. <laughs> Wait, so if you're thirty old, thirty old, thirty years old, and you do the drunken truth or dare game, yeah. are you going to the same places you do when you're in high school? All I'm suggesting is that they're gonna make a movie about your life, and it's about you finally getting into adulthood. It's like a Garden State. Greenberg, young adult, <laughs> sort of Diablo <laughs> Cody picture. Diablo Cody. Oh, popular streamer of Diablo Cody. When making a wish at a fountain, which coin denomination do people most often throw in and wish on? Sacage away a dollar. You gotta put in a video for Canadian Big Brother. They brought it back. I saw the that. <laughs> You gotta do a video, man. Get on it. I'll watch every day. What is I... tuppence? Two pence? No, I said tuppence. <laughs> the type of Tupperware? Yeah, you throw. It's actually Mike Pence's soul trapped in a Tupperware container. <laughs> Who's throwing in two dollar coins into a wishing well? Your two mother! Dollars. Two euro. <laughs> two dollars. <laughs> if anyone has ever thrown two dollars into a well, you can no longer complain about anything related to money ever. <laughs> no, it increases That's your true. odds of the wish coming true. What do you mean? Hell no. <laughs> it increases the odds of the wish That's coming true. Yeah, theory. that's why I always oh. throw in Benjamins. I'm just like, you know, it's a hundred percent chance. That's paper! <laughs> if you throw in a toonie, that's 2% chance that it comes true. So, <laughs> I my wish is that I get $101, I throw in 100 It's all profit. Yeah. <laughs> so is this why leprechauns always have full cauldrons full of coins? Yeah, yeah I guess so. He's People right, like man. You. 
The rich just keep getting richer. All you do is <laughs> wish for a million dollars and then throw in a hundred. <laughs> it's good to go. I didn't know they operated on a percentage point scale like that. Oh, yeah, man. Well, yeah. I mean, Wells. Wells, I mean, operated. It's really good. All right, let's see if the database Benjamins. Can solve a long you did say Benjamins, which was also great. What percentage of what percentage people, people prefer to use the big spoon instead of the, instead of the small spoon when eating breakfast, breakfast cereal? What? Oh yeah, I do that. Okay, we I always go for a big spoon. Okay. okay. Like, well, it depends if I use the big bowl or the small bowl. Does it depend on the cereal you're eating? They have different types of spoons for that. I was kind of with cobalt. I had to think about it for a minute and be like, there are small spoons. Everyone is saying lower. Yeah, but I mean, I have like a uniform size spoon really for all my things. Unless I'm stirring a bowl. I just want to ask, what's the point of a small spoon except for stirring? Small mouth. <laughs> what the s Feeding it's, a baby, yeah. I guess. Almost. Okay. It's just yeah. less in the way of your teeth and gums. Nah, they got special spoons for babies. True. Don't think about it. Like spoon, so. you got two of them on your on your chest. You go in <laughs> with like a forty five degree tip on a big tablespoon, right? And there's gonna be like thirty percent of that is gonna make contact with your tongue or teeth. What are you talking about? Where if you cut it down to the small spoon, you're reducing the overall surface area, and the tip is gonna put you at a much smaller percentage. What? I rest my case. <laughs> I use the same spoon for everything. Not the same spoon, but the same size of spoon. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It does the here's, job. Here's how I go. If there's any big spoons, I take a big spoon. If all the big spoons are dirty, I, I either do dishes or take a small spoon. I need to do dishes. Shit. You were pretty close. Have you ever decided to do something else because the thing you needed to take out of the sink was dirty? Yes. Yeah, Some, sometimes we got these don't even start with me on these for these meals from the meal delivery service it's getting too crazy yeah man every you do, time you're doing that still they're like you know hey for it's a pretty convenient meal it's gonna take a half hour actually takes 45 minutes uh and you need two pots one pan and two large mixing bowls this is no longer convenient you're trying too hard Mine forgot to send me a steak with my box. That's so a real we problem. Them. Yeah, we, we go to make the steak and I open the, all the bags up and I'm like, where is it? It's not here. Everyone else. And they like sent us an extra meal or something because we complain, but I was pretty much done with it after that. <laughs> Just get, get dishwashers. I do have a dishwasher. So what are you complaining about? Well, I mean, it's just a, making a lot of dishes for something that's supposed to make our life more convenient. Hurry up. But being healthy. Well, I'm just saying, it could be like, hey, here's two chicken breasts and some spices and like rice. Oh my god, it was. 70%. I want to know the percentage. Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm so mad. <laughs> <laughs> I I agree with that though, because who would want to be massive when they've seen how Godzilla always ends? When you could be tiny and run around and inside of stuff. Yeah. Dude, one inch is not tiny enough to be cool though. Okay, who's up next? It's tiny enough to That's hide. That's pretty cool. <laughs> People can step on you by accident. Yeah, but that's like Ant-Man size almost. You still gotta be not an idiot if you're gonna. Well, be small. when you you still have the same strength, though. Oh, that you it, have like now. I understand. Yeah. Yeah, but it's more concentrated. Oh, like what ant. percentage of people have entered and finished full 26.2 mile marathons? <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Okay. I'm gonna put that right there. All right, what do you think? I think it has to be higher, but it shouldn't be higher by much. Breathe it in. Marathon is no joke, man. Just one person says lower. There's a lot of people. I'm just breaking down per capita 2% doesn't sound that crazy to me. Yeah, you got it exactly correct. Whoa, oh, nice. Just like wow. Statue of Liberty super camera. Wow. Sorry, everyone, but all the points go to That's Sparty. crazy. So it's actually probably like under 1%, but then the troll factor... Mm -hmm. Buffed it up a little bit. <laughs> That's not bad though for Troll Factor. Yeah, all things considered. In fact, that was basically like we just teared the scale for Troll Factor. <laughs> we can yeah. now build in 2% to every uh, answer. Okay, oh, who's nice. first? My 72 year old dad runs marathons? That's it. That doesn't mean running a marathon is easy. That just makes your dad twice as badass. That he's an yeah, old man and he's still running. 
Is that, uh, running a marathon is like running for Always four hours straight. That's the length of one Marvel Cinematic wow. Universe film. Four hours if you're bad at it. He's 72! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, he's old. <laughs> Ooh, There's a marathon they do in North Carolina, and it's like three full days of running through the mountains. Yeah. There was a documentary on it. It was wild shit. You should watch it if you can find it. Look up North Carolina Mountain Marathon. <laughs> I don't remember what it was called anymore. Four hours is also a really fast marathon. Yeah, I forgot. Well, there's that one guy, you know, Meb Meb Khaleesi or whatever his name is. He runs them in like ten minutes. No, I was about to click. Meb, I think you mean Malf. Malf Malf Khalifa. Eleven percent. These people hate St. Patrick's Day more than I do. What? I thought it was gonna be way higher than that. No, I always forget to wear green. No, not Nev Campbell. I wonder if the Irish on the whole actually enjoy St. Patrick's Day, but like for the idea that it brings them lots of tourism and attention, not because it's actually a celebration of anything in particular, really. I think honestly, St. Patrick's Day is one of the worst things that can happen to the whole. Yeah. Well, oh my Saint, God. St. Patrick's Day You're morning. <laughs> I'm gonna give it a low, low. Okay, higher or lower. Over 40, right. This is a tough one. Over 40? <laughs> wow. Raise your hand if you're over 40. Like, Not come yet. on. Everyone says higher except for one of you. I mean, I know I know there's probably some people over 40. Oh there, my but... god, 36%? <laughs> <laughs> there's seems there's no fucking way. I don't buy it. I thought we had the troll factor isolated. Oh, man. Next up. Breathe it in. Let's see, what would be good? How you bought your this? high school textbooks? I gotta ask you a question. Uh, Why? What? I reread them a few times. <laughs> no, it's never happened to anybody in the history of planet Earth. I don't buy it at all. What percentage of people have worn bathing suits under their clothes because they were out of underwear? <laughs> I've worn them as clothes, like shorts. Really? Oh, okay, I see. Like, not a I'm not like rocking a speedo. Is that true? Our sample size was 60 people. That yeah, voted. it was low on that one because people That's didn't want to vote. Low. I guess maybe you know, two percent of 400 is one thing, and then 36 percent of 60, pretty close. I could have explained that in a better fashion, I think. Okay. <laughs> Ironically, I accidentally stole a book called The Book Thief from my high school. Ooh. Let's see who got it right. Well, that's kind of hilarious. That's like I, I accidentally stole the book The Kite Runner from my kite marathon class, so. Who's next? I stole some stuff from Blockbuster, but now they're gone. Yeah. What did you steal from Blockbuster? Mega Man X Legends <sighs> Collections. I couldn't Good find home. it anywhere else. Screw you, Blockbuster. You're never getting it back. <laughs> Like, I know I had a late view of them, but then the store, such, the store shut down, so I was like, well, you know, how can this negatively affect me? And I've yeah. never had Put anything it bad for my door. credit. Maybe it, like, affected my parents' credit or something. Long after the store is a shell of its former self, there's still that slot in the door. You just pop it through. <laughs> just put it, up, put it on in. <laughs> If you put in a hundred dollars, you can just wish for like a million movies. I don't want to alert them that I still have it. Maybe, uh, maybe they just overlooked me. That was a respectable guess. Scared a little I bit. I think the Blockbuster Corporation has bigger problems at this point. Right. Well done. I yeah. I don't think I've stolen much in my life. I ate a grape at a grocery store when I was like five. My mom you remember was, it? My mom was real pissed. She was like, that's Everyone stealing. And it, it's almost yeah. like a proto NLSS bit. I was like, it's like what? Was grade? it in the cart? Was it in the cart or was it on the it was shelf it was though? out of the, the produce like area. Yeah, because if they went on to okay, buy it, well, you know, nobody would have made a fuss, right? That's Well, it depends it. if it was if you're paying by weight. You know? Oh then when so they're they, not weighing the kids, they gotta weigh the kids before and after. Well that's not what I mean, but like you know, when you get like four apples, they put it on the scale at the cash oh, register. No. 
Oh god. Dude, that's so gross. First off, this is 1993 and I was five. I'm not gonna apologize. I never thought of Shaun of the Dead as a romantic comedy. <laughs> I drank an entire. I drank a uh, bunch of bubble solution. When like I was bubble like soap. Five. Yeah, like you know, you blow bubbles with like a big bottle of it. I just took a big right, swig out of it as a kid and is. drank it. <laughs> That'll put hair on your store? chest. <laughs> I started throwing up, obviously. I hope oh, and so, one yeah. time I snuck into my parents' bedroom and I drank some perfume that I thought smelled good out of a bottle. <laughs> oh my and when God. my mom came in, she saw me and she was freaking out. Dude. And I remember her yelling, "He drank my poison!" Because he was talking to she was talking to my dad. And I thought I had drank poison, but it was actually the name of the perfume that I had drank. You're and I was—I thought I was gonna die. Oh my god! Congratulations! It's okay. Your dad has a that. cologne called Antidote. You just have to drink that too. You guys want to knock out one more? Whatever. All right. That's the—that's the trademark enthusiasm. <laughs> I thought he was gonna say lube. Welcome back. Let me just delete this video. I don't know lube? that I could drink. I drink lube? I don't think I could drink that much lube. Yes, I was a not. child. I might have been less than five, actually. I don't know. I was probably like three or four. I think the implication was that you found your parents' lube and drank it. No, no lube. It's that spicy kind that's like warm for him and cool for her. Oh, those are my favorite. What percentage and it has to know which kind of throat you have, of know which one you get. Yeah. What percentage of people have delivered speeches in front of more than a hundred people? Every day on Twitch.tv. Yeah. Okay, we have a guy. I'm gonna hit him high with that one. Everyone else, now it's your turn. Do you think the correct answer is high? My son swallowed a nickel this past weekend. We've been monitoring him to make sure it comes out. Dude, mm. that's wild. So you've been sifting through poop. Everyone is saying lower. <laughs> What if the kid was smart enough and actually like faked swallowing it? <laughs> he so he wants to, his parents to look through the poop. Oh, and he pocket you checked it. behind your ear. Yeah. Maybe he's doing magic. <laughs> they like Swallowed made him eat some. Nickel. No, they made him eat some really crappy food or whatever. So now he's punishing them. They're gonna be Who sifting through that? his shit for a month. I I feel bad for them. What if that had been in somebody's ass before? <laughs> Well, they, you know, they're going to double or nothing pretty soon. Yeah, really. The whole system has <laughs> oh, been through. It's an Austin question. What percentage of people eat out, order in, or pick up a meal for dinner almost every day? That's Where's me. Austin? Rich people. Everyone else, higher or lower? I mean, not really when you can eat at McDonald's for $4 a day. How do you pull that off? Because McDonald's four is really, McDoubles in the super sweet tea. expensive. Five bucks, four McDoubles in a sweet tea. I just got, got right. just a double quarter pounder oh, meal, and it was ten dollars and ten cents. That well, I don't know what McDonald's That's you're it. going to. Did you tip? <laughs> no. <laughs> Ask everyone what job they would want to do in at the McDonald's. army. Oh. <laughs> The McDonald's. I'd want to work at McDonald's in the army. I'd want to be in the Navy. Can I work as an audio engineer for the McDonald's Corporation so that they can get speakers and microphones that don't sound like they're from 1917? No. Like, we're... Yeah, you can't do that. We can land yeah. a rocket on a launch pad and reuse it, but whenever you pull up to the McDonald's drive-thru, it's still like... Yeah. <laughs> I don't understand. I was, uh, I was sitting outside playing Pokemon Go in the car with a couple of my friends when it first came out. And there's a McDonald's like across the street from us. And we had my, the window rolled down. And every now and then, the McDonald's person would just go, hello? Hello? Can I take your order? And there'd be like, no, nobody there. No car or anything. I was like, what is this person doing? They don't have like a little camera? I thought they had a camera. Okay, that'll get you some points. I also, I don't really like weird. it, sometimes you pull up to the first window at the McDonald's, right. and they take your order, and sometimes they're like, go to the second window. And I'm like, yeah, what, what kind of what, what DNA polymerase are you running here? The first window is to take the money, the second window is to give you your order. No, but there's two ordering speakers. <clears throat> sometimes you go to the first one, and then they push you to the second one, and sometimes you, you know, drive to the Depends second on one, and they're like, you should have been the at the volume. first one. 
if it's a high volume that does a lot of business, they'll have both open because they'll have another employee. But mm. if it's probably like a slower one or in a smaller town, they probably shut that one window down and just use the uh, the one window I see. to consolidate it. The Burger King does that. They have two windows, but they always just say drive to the second window. There's some places that actually outsource that to India. What? Yeah, you could get on the conference thing at the, the before the first window, and you're talking to somebody <coughs> at the ocean who takes your order and then sends it to the McDonald's you're at. It's remotely done. It's kind of bizarre, isn't it? That seems crazy. Nice job. I guess it's well, cheaper. Well, now I, I got a lot more sympathy for the audio quality, knowing it might be going to the Indian Ocean. Yeah. That's it for round one. Let's take a look at the scores. Not a joke either. That's a real thing. You can look it up. No, I've heard they've actually they send the order to India as well, and then the Indian McDonald's 3D prints it and then ships it back to the McDonald's you're at. I'm going to search for only the first windows in India. You have to drive there. <laughs> Your grandmother told you that only jealous people are ticklish. What? That's Granny. That's true. Oh, so weird. You're selling the rest of us out. <laughs> we can't control your ticklish. I actually learned to not be ticklish. Same. Yeah, Mind I, over I matter. Not be exactly. Ticklish. My dad taught like he kept saying that when I was a kid. I was like, you know what? This motherfucker's right. And then it's a uh, huge advantage because if you imagine if you ever get tortured <laughs> and they try to tickle torture, you could just laugh as if you're being tortured and they think they're doing their job, but you're actually nice. fine. Yeah, that's why, like, if I ever get waterboarded, I'm just going to pretend to drown. Perfect. They won't know. <laughs> but, yeah, I don't, I don't get ticklish ever. I don't go to town. See what I happens. just think people shouldn't tickle each other. <laughs> Unless it's consensual <laughs> tickling. Ryan. It's obviously to... meant to be consensual. No, I know, but then sometimes if you're like, I'm ticklish, okay. people will just tickle you, and it's yeah, not fair. sometimes that... Yeah. They take it as a challenge. Invaded. It's like uh, cobalt, I... I imagine, whenever you tell people you're colorblind. They're like, what color is this? Oh, yeah. Can you see this one? Like, uh, I mean, I can tell a difference between that and something else. There's also different types of colorblindness. Of using some instrument. Mm -hmm. Yep. Thank you, Praetor Anubis. Standard size envelopes by hands instead of using an instrument. So, okay. These are really weird. Hey, one more subscriber and we get the bonus stream tomorrow. We're at 849. What are you going to play on the bonus stream? I don't know. It might be a creative thing. I might draw stuff. Ooh. I might do Final Fantasy 12 again. People seem to really like that. Really? I really want to play an RPG. I think it's a great game. I don't know that everybody agrees across the board. I've beaten uh, it before, personally. Um, yeah. And I enjoyed it, and I know they uh, they changed some stuff. They, like, made the skill system different. It's actually... It is different from the American version, but apparently the international version already had the license board like that. Oh, it was okay. new to me, though, and I actually preferred the old version. So, I don't know. So I it, yeah. am just holding out until Final Fantasy XXX. Final Fantasy 30. Yeah. Got a little while left. It's gonna be good though. Yeah, it's Dude, I think that's why they started doing sequels instead of like new entries in the series. Is because they were like, oh crap, if we keep putting out like a Final Fantasy every two years, we're gonna be at the porn number soon. Yep. Well, they, they wanted to monopolize off of their their universes and not just create them for one game. You know, and then have to abandon the storyline, so it's just a way of extending that and making more money. Yeah, I mean, we got halfway there last year, and it took more than the length of my entire lifespan, so I'm a little scared, but... <laughs> <laughs> By the way... This is the best question for Mouth to have gotten. What the hell is a corn holder? The little what? <laughs> with the pins on the end. You mean your you fingers? Stick them... No, you <laughs> stick them into the... And each end of the corn, so you're not holding searing hot corn in your hand. <laughs> or getting butter all over your knuckles. Yeah. You want corn, butter knuckles? Corn I mean, I'm one of the 14%. Baby. I'll just put it that way. <laughs> all right, fair enough. <laughs> Thank you, Nightmare, right. Roar, Roar, and Praetor Anubis. I'll just be honest. I don't encounter corn on the cob enough to need Sorry, a corn holder, but I can see why I would want one. 
Adosto? Yeah. I can They're understand fine. that. Hey, it's Jay. Thanks, everybody. My parents have some that look like little mini corn on the cobs. Well, it's like pretty it's, meta. Yeah. Yeah, it's so meta. <sighs> How do you right, I hope not I know what a corn dead on. holder is? I've never... I mean, I've probably encountered them, but Mouse. like... I have no idea. Did Hello? I nail that dead on? I, I mean, I would hope that it's lower, but I went higher. So that might tell you how I feel about no, chat. I want to get exactly right. Running out of time. How do you hold corn on the cob? Between your two index fingers. You can yeah, we had corn holders entire too. Fist. <laughs> I put I it on a south. drill and then I turn it on, and he actually <laughs> did get it exactly correct. I did. I'm a little mad, but you're shitting me, really? <laughs> Nine percent. Sorry, everyone else. I wanted to get that one, and I did. <laughs> you willed it, dude. I should eat. How do I know that? Cob. Corn on the cob is delicious. Do you have to boil answer. corn on the cob before you What's the first thing before you grill it? Minds? Why did I do no. that? <laughs> now let's see the answer. Um. All right, come on. Is it that I believed? Did I will nine percent to be how many people turn their chairs around? Ready, go. <laughs> it's Goldman's only superpower. He can predict when people turn their chairs around. His nose. <laughs> he got shot. Yeah, I don't know why they didn't put that here. It's definitely in like the top five things I remember about Abraham Lincoln. Don't he did get yeah. shot. And he freed what? all the slaves. Didn't, they didn't have president. <laughs> they also did not have president, but they had he wears black. <laughs> like well, I he's, do think of that. <laughs> he's Euron Greyjoy or something. <laughs> yeah, no, nothing about the Civil War. The Emancipation Proclamation. The Motivation Proclamation by Good Charlotte. Gentle. What? Oh, dope. Let's go. His face, his beard, his hat. I didn't say his name, but guess who popped into your head? You got two out of three there. That's not so bad. That picture, Lincoln. Close right now. game, dude. Close game. I'm picturing Lincoln in my head. Here's the thing. First thing, DVD box art for uh, Abraham Lincoln Vampire Hunter. <laughs> Secondly, that yep. big old schnoz right in the center of his face. Thirdly, he's really tall. He's just like a goth basketball player with a huge nose. I just think of old-timey drawings of him for some reason. I don't think of him as a person. I think of a drawing. Yeah, He's the Me original too. superhero. Uh, well, that's the end of the show today. Why don't we take some time to pick our channels? We start with uh, Michael A. L. Fox. Alrighty then. Is he muted? He's <laughs> muted. Mike, you're muted. You're muted. Uh, have I been muted the whole time? How long oh, have wow, you been yeah. talking about Abraham Lincoln? You didn't hear me say schnoz? No. No. <laughs> no. Oh my schnoz. god. I said his big old schnoz, and then Ryan said schnoz. <laughs> and I thought he was just like, yeah. Um, hey, um, I said that's my name. Don't wear it out. Um, is my buy thing, but now it kind of seems a little lame. So you could just instead follow me on Twitch and Twitter and YouTube slash Michael Ale Fox. Sweet. How about you, a uh, Cobalt Streak? What's up, I'm Cobalt? I'm here every Thursday for the NLSS. Um, and we're playing some Isaac. We're doing some Isaac streaks. Uh, probably play some more indie stuff later. I don't know. It should be fun. That's all I got. Thanks for having me. Sick. Nicholas? <laughs> Very low energy outro today. Yeah. <laughs> oh, hey, I mean, everybody. We, I'm Nicholas. Nine hours uh, of streaming this week. Like, I'm exhausted. <laughs> it's just hot, really, is all. <laughs> Uh, hey, Nicholas here. Uh, Rockley Smile to some. Uh, you can check me out here at twitch.tv slash Rockley Smile. I'm going to take a very short break to go try and wet my hair and get cooled off for a second. And then we're going to go back to Aporia Beyond the Valley, finish that off, and then check out the new Hollow Knight content. So uh, come Is on over out? if you like. It's out today. Oh, my God. How long one is that of, supposed to be? I don't know. It's only one of the three packs, so there's going to be more. Hmm. So just, you know, if you want, save it up and then dive in whenever you want.
Sweet. Interesting. I'm going to hang up on you guys. Thanks awesome. for being here. Later. Have okay, a good later. One. Who, how's it going, Chad? Can we bring Charles back? Charles is in charge now. He's never coming back. He got a promotion. Of our days and our nights. Nick is going to hate the new Hollow Knight stuff. I wouldn't wish that on my sweet Charles. Mod Josh. Okay, I will mod Josh. There you go. Have more corn. Dude, I, I'm not even messing with you. I don't think I've ever been to a Vancouver grocery store and, like, picked up a corn of cob. <laughs> a cob of corn. I don't think I've seen cobs of corns here. I'm not saying they don't have it. I mean, they maybe it's just not as commonly consumed, but canned corn, no problem. But canned corn is like it's like 6 out of 10. Corn on the cob, I'm like it's a 10 out of 10. We also don't have a grill. So I don't know, you got to like you we would boil it and then fry it for like a second. I'm I'm actually not sure, but I'm I miss corn, dude. It's like the vegetable I eat the least that I like the most. I don't know, you, you just boil it? I thought you had to add a little grilling on there so that you could get some uh get a little, you know, a little bark. On mod Josh? Alright, I'll on mod Josh then. There you go. He's on modded. Why would you grill corn? Look, I've seen grilled corn. Don't even start with me. It happens all the time. They throw some corn cobs on the grill. They rotate it frequently so it doesn't burn. And it's delicious. We, the other thing is I now I can't eat corn because I I, I'm aware that I don't have the holders. So I'm like missing the prerequisites. It's like showing up to class on day one without the textbook. Mod him again? All right, but this is the last time. There you go. He's been modded then. Microwave it for five minutes in the husk. I'm going to assume that that's good natured advice, but it does kind of sound like that's going to light the corn on fire. Maybe I'll, I'll try to find a video of it on the internet first. Corn is a C tier vegetable. Corn has one of like the largest standard deviations in my opinion. There could be really bad corn that just tastes like bad candy. And then there could be really awesome corn that's like hot salty, buttery, on a cob, etc, etc. You know, it ain't like a carrot. A carrot's always gonna hover around that B tier. I've never eaten a carrot and been like, this carrot sucks. And eaten another carrot and been like, this is a particularly good carrot. I'm just always... Carrots are... Every carrot tastes the same. Carrots are C tier? Ah, you know, agree to disagree. In Canada, C's are B's, so it's it's better here. Yams also have a high standard deviation. I agree. I'm not going to mod soggy toenails. <laughs> I've been watching for three years and just subscribed. I just wanted to say thank you, and could you please unmod Josh? All right, I'm going to... Slash on mod J Smith OTI. There you go. The NLSS has a large degree of variation. I wouldn't disagree with you on that. <laughs> there's, some, there's some highs and some lows. No question about it. Broccoli is A tier. I'm with you on that. But I don't like boiled broccoli that much. Like a fried or a grilled broccoli is amazing. But like... Boiled broccoli, I'm like, Ugh. Anyway, I should get out of here. Say thank you to the subscribers and people who supported the show over the course of the stream. Thank you to B-Tills, Black Ice, and Zengion for the cheers. And on the subscription side, this is where we pray that Streamlabs isn't going to burn us. I think it has three hours worth. 
Tristan Lyon, Soured Twines, Cheka, Jackalaura, Boatload of Waffles, Anti Christie, Jim Peak, Her Carl Marco, Max Killer, BTT08, Lax Saika, Zoidberg, Weeble123, Koi World, J Bond47, Slayer 0x75. Is that like a like a quadradecimal value or something? Every, anytime I see like a, a zero followed by an X, I don't know. Graymore Gaming, Skelamancer, Dan the Man Geesling, Ying Jr., Northern Lions Dignity, Captain Kablooey, Banishment This World, Jojo Keno Jojo, Green Man Prime, Samurai Outcast, Safety in Numbers, Special Cornflake, JJ Ouch, Lucky Tame, Tezios, Neko Kona Kosan, Valhalla Shiny and Chrome, Dictator Chicken, Eddie 14126, Praise the Sun 191, Businessman Salamander, Oz Carey, Hey It's Jay, Frosty Jesus, Ray Tar Terrace, Doogie Boo, White Meadows, Pandurb Sand, Fistful of Hollows, G Echo Gecko, and Fancy Pants. Thank you guys very much for the subscriptions. Thanks for watching. Thanks for making an effort to watch without an ad block. I'll be live with Kate tonight over at uh, twitch.tv slash lovelymomo. We're going to do like half PUBG duos and half PUBG customs with zombies, so... We will need zombies for that if you're still awake at uh, roughly four hours from now. Twitch.tv slash LovelyMomo. Um, come be zombies in our game. That'll be me and Kate and, I don't know, maybe some other people live at Twitch.tv slash LovelyMomo. Waterson, thank you for the subscription as well. For now, Nick is streaming at Twitch.tv slash Smile. You can watch him play a uh, mirror-turning, puzzle-solving light game. Apart from that, thanks for watching. I'll see you tomorrow for Roundtable. I'll see you Saturday for Kate's subscriber stream. I'll see you Sunday for the conclusion of Until Dawn. And I'll see you next time.